Okay. Please do. <clears throat> Channels? Nope, I leave that for you. All right, we're up. Hello, all. Hello. Uh oh. Officially kick us off here in a moment. I'm still doing all our start parts to you, so sorry. You're fine. You're fine. <clears throat> Dunn's doing all the, the nitty gritty of moving channels around, linking people, telling people we're here and we're ready to go. Seriously, OBS, what the heck today? It, it, I got there and I started putting in all the slides that Dunn gave me for the stuff that was happening. And then. I was like, okay, cool. Let me do like my test click to see if my microphone's coming through. And then it goes, oh, you have to update. And I was like, well, okay, I'm not going to update. And he's like, no, 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 you have to update. We have like a critical hotfix. I'm like, I know what a critical hotfix is. Is this really a critical hotfix or is this just like you forcing me to update? So uh, two set minutes before this was like to start or maybe five minutes. I can't remember what I posted in Discord. It was like, update. So here we are. Uh, okay, we good? Yep, I am. Same as all the people. All right, then I will click the start recording button, and we will kick off the podcast. Okay, welcome everyone to the Dakotas podcast for December sixteenth, two thousand twenty-three. Welcome. Uh, I have had a really terrible week. I don't know about the rest of you, but this has been. A pretty terrible week. It's not like top 10 worst weeks of my life, but it's it's like middling of the pack pretty no annoying week. So you know what that means. That means that we're going to have a really epic raffle because when I have a terrible week, that means I'm just going to give away a bunch of free things. So, woo. Um, Dunn's had kind of a worse week, so I assume she's going to chime in when she feels like it, but she is pretty wrecked right now and we are going to have an awesome podcast, regardless. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going to get hype. We're going to get so hype. All the hype. Drink your coffee. Well, I will, <laughs> but you know the caffeine isn't going to do what you think it's going to do. Mm. Another fun fact. Apparently my body doesn't treat caffeine like a, a stimulant like the rest of you. So I can't just drink caffeine and go, I am hype. I have to mentally do this exercise. Apparently I treat it like a nutrient. I need it to survive, but it doesn't hype me. <laughs> I mean, it is a nutrient, isn't it? Yeah, basically. All right. So we have Craftmageddon part two, two, two. But before we get to that, I have a few little things. Uh, so December project updates, uh, Totem Health. We are stalled out at the moment because my entire life for the last two weeks has been the craftmageddon so i have not been able to focus down on that people have put like little updates in there but right now um neither me or dunn can like front run that and do craftmageddon so it's just stalled out worst case scenario it'll happen in january but you know we got something cool coming along that'll will help with the totem blues regardless which I don't think is on my stuff here because I haven't gotten it back yet, but maybe I'll, I'll spoil it anyway because I can. Um, second, I'm talking about the woodcutter's axe. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. <laughs> so uh, second on my to-do list uh, for updates is gardening is still making progress. It is still on track for the deadline that I am aware of that I have not shared with you all because I'm not willing to share it yet. As of two minutes ago, a gardening related tool exists on the site. Does it? Yeah, Reed was just waiting to see if I kept a secret. Oh, did? Okay. So gardening is making progress and you are seeing things starting to pop to life. Will it be done in the end of December? Maybe, but I know what the unofficial deadline is. I'm not sharing it because I don't want to get everyone's hopes up. As soon as I think it's the official deadline, I will actually share it. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Gardening is making progress. In the interim of that, uh, what you probably saw me commissioning a ton of stuff this week. I think I've done like two rounds. Third round coming. Third round coming. 
Um, and of that, one of the things I got were produce boxes, which I have seen the art for at this point. They're super cute. They need colored and back to me. Um, and I have half of the framework built for a greenhouse store that will allow people to start getting their hands on craft or not crafting. Oh, my God. So much crafting on the brand. I dreamed about crafting last night and not in a fun way. Um, gardening. I am building a gardening store. I'm thinking it's going to be called the greenhouse at the moment. The items are coming and the way that this is going to work is there will be eight openables. I think for the rest of December, it's going to be per day, but in January or February, I'm still making my mind up. Um, it's going to switch over to being per week. You can buy the openable in that store and there'll be one for each category of gardening very up in the air about exactly what the openable is going to have as far as how many items you get out of it. But Don and I will crunch that math. Um, oh my gosh. Thank you. Wow. Promotions. Ew. Thank you. Thank you, moderators. Jeez. How, I, I guess, should we all be like, um, what, what's the word? Should we be flattered that we were finally big enough and crazy enough that somebody felt like coming to promote to us? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to take that silver lining. Let's just be flattered by it. But also, ew, and thank you for deleting it. So, um, going to make the greenhouse. We'll figure out the math on those openables, and they're going to have gardening items that you got out of them. They will be random. Um, the produce boxes, I'm thinking that they might persist, just not be like a daily you can buy, be more like a weekly you can buy. Um, and they will be purchasable for TT. That no, uh, as always, Tokos is not pay to win. So they will not be purchasable via uh, words, USD. Um, and as always, when we do things that are limited like that, if you send your friends TT so they can buy them for themselves, Thumbs up. If you send your friends TT so they can buy you extras, thumbs down and we will find you. Um, no trading them is valid. Oh, yeah, trading. Like the new markets for trading and swapping and all that jazz. And if I do this right, by the time these boxes are out and rolling, we'll also have the item marketplace up and running to make it really easy for people to set up swaps. Did you just slip that in there? I did. I did. I'm working on it, okay? It's just much more complicated than slots or, or uh, uploads. Marketplace. Okay, <clears throat> so those things are coming. Um, CH is running on the art. It looks good. Uh, they'll probably be done with the art before I'm done with the code. But either way, that is coming pretty quickly. Uh, so gardening is still happening. TT bloat remediation. Still working on it. <laughs> Give you updates when I've got them. <laughs> As I said, everything there. But here are some December projects that have come to fruition that will be in news posts. Um maybe now like we might post one this weekend uh with like our letting people know about the crafting grace period before i have to shut the system down reminding them about snowfall before it closes reminding them about snowfall but then these updates will also be in the january news post so these will come multiple times we have decided that build groups is going to happen and you remember me saying something about it last week so for build groups the idea was that Right now, we've kind of messed up the odds of getting an abandoned pup. They're they're too prevalent because of how many different types there are and where we put them in things. Like, your odds of getting them just kept going up and up and up and up for every build that we added. And we don't want to stop adding builds. So we had to find a way to fix that. And Dunn came up with the idea of build groups. So the way the build group's going to work is going to be very similar to how the little carvings, figurines we call them, mm -hmm. how little figurines for breeding work. We're going to make three um, there's tiny, modest, and hefty. And in certain activities, you'll be able to find certain types of the build groups. So uh, what, what is our current... And I know we have some back and forth where we're trying to decide some things, but give me like an example of one that we're pretty sure is going to go. Hefty pups, which would be Dyers, Akotas, Moraltas, will not be in hunting. So we're sure on that right now. Okay, so we're sure that the hefty pups, which is... Dyer's of Cotas and will not be in hunting. Modest at the moment is just Kino, and Tiny is Tokis and Haras. 
when Makatas come out, they're going to fit into the Modest. So the Modest will gain a second one at that point in time. And as other builds come down the line, because we know that we're going to make big, small bats, dragons, I don't know. Um, and they'll fit into places as we go. So they'll fall into one of those categories. Uh, so build groups will be happening. They will be extending to more than just a bandos because they're such a clean concept. They are going to extend to taming in a manner. Um, you will see that when I show this sheet. We're going to change a little bit up how taming treats work. So <clears throat> <coughs> I'm going to give everyone a question to ask. I'm going to give everyone a moment to ask questions in a second. But the way that taming treats currently work, we're not using them as I think Morgan intended them to be used. It's... An extra level of complication on an already complicated to-do system, so we just don't use them as they were really intended to be used. Um, and every time we do use them, when we use things like honey spice treats, everybody dies a little inside because of the alder. So we're going to change how they work. They're still going to do what they did. We're just going to change how they apply to things, which means updating their recipes and moving them around a little bit, and then applying build groups to them. And when we get to that, I will show you exactly what I mean. So build groups is going to be taking a run into um, shrine, activities, and taming. Am I missing any other? I thought those were the three major areas. I'm going to double check. So it's shrine, activities, taming. Um, we're going, puppy chow is going to go to oh. the tiny group. So boosting your chances of finding tiny pups. And then there's two others that are coming for the other two. Exactly. So it'll also affect, you'll be able to pick and choose and go after specific things. And Stork will be getting an update to facilitate build groups. I believe it'll be getting the update I said last time, which is when you have a Stork, the ability to get the other build groups uh, will be possible inside of that activity. So that'll be Stork's to do. It'll give Stork a fair bit of power when fighting pups. We do need to finish figuring out what we're doing with breeding because currently Modest is Dakinos, Dakotas. Right. And if modest forces you into Kino. Is that too powerful since it's the only one there? Hard to say. Very hard to say. Um, and then Dakota will still be possible in all of these things. We're working out the exact math. There will be more information in January. I just wanted you all to know that it is definitely happening. And here's what we know so far. And then the last thing before I pause for questions is we had a little, oh, it's not even back and forth. We talked about activity seasons going away. The activity admins are 100% on board. Someone did bring up the concept that they believe a couple years ago players voted on this and they wanted to keep seasons. So I come to you saying, if you are one of those people and you think it's thematically great, I am sorry. They're going away. Um, they're going away in activities. They're not going away for PvP. They're not going away for CEs. They're not going away for um, anything else that uses seasons. We're still going to have seasons. Prey seasons are going away, which means you can hunt everything at any point of the year. There's no more of that. While I made this hunt and it got rejected and kicked um, for some reason, and now I can't use it next month and I have to wait three more months before I can use it, that's gone. It's just simpler for everybody um, to handle. And so I guess if, like, if you if you love it, then great. But I'm sorry, we're we're gonna we're gonna do away with that one. If you feel super passionately about it, you are welcome to note the group, and I will have a discussion with you. But the the streamlining of activities to make things easier on them, one less thing for them to check as they're rolling hunting, probably outweighs the thematical bonuses. Okay. Yeah, and you can also keep to your own, like, personal ones. That is a beautiful point, Rem. Like, if, if you want to say, like, I only want to do it. I only want to hunt caribou during the winter. Cool, cool. We're not going to force you to hunt it at any other point. Like, have fun. Um, and that also will decomplicate world tour prey when we're done. We don't have to split them up um, anymore. They can just go into the pool and makes it easy. Especially for, like oncoming because we usually try and add a new prey in august we had a new one with summer hunt well we had two a large and a small and summer hunt mm -hmm. and then a new one with every world tour region 
Yes, this this simplifies that as well. Because in Summer Hunt, <laughs> if we add a new prey, but it's not the right season. Like, what do you do? Okay, so with that, I pause for questions about December. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, and Predator, we, we talked about it. There's five. There's five tokos in the entire system with Predator. They are getting a heart refunded. We're going to pull Predator off of their tokos. We will see if we can come up with another bonus. Um, some people have thrown a couple things around. And we will talk it out. And in January, we're still going to refund those people their heart. Because if they want Predator again, they can just rebuy it and reapply it. Um, but the bonus is going to be dramatically different than what they currently had. So, you know. Uh, so Predator is getting refunded. If we can come up with something in January or February, we will re-release it. And everyone will be able to go and buy it as a soul pool trait. Because that's where it's currently at. Uh, if not, then it will retire with large and small hunting license which large and small hunting licenses are currently being retired if we come up with a bonus at a later point in time that's not a pain for everybody to deal with then we'll reintroduce them into the crafting pool um otherwise we will retire them at this point in time that's a level of complication we don't need just go do a tripod go away with you to tripods <laughs> um Although, if we were going to do that, then we could just reintroduce them with that, like, solo tribe hunting bonus again that the factions used to have, but small and large. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Those are coming in the mail. Oh. oh, never mind. Those are coming with something else in Verma. Don't listen to me. Um. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so bad for me this month with spoilers. It's Christmas. You just want to tell people all the things and make them happy. Uh, but we will see if we can come up with a bonus. All right. So, everything that I've just spoken about, now we are open for questions. I know I ran through that really fast. <laughs> I got questions? I am I to the channel. really wouldn't be shocked. That was a little discordant all over the place. <laughs> you, you are a little. Just that today. I am. I am that too. <laughs> Would you like some merriment? No. No, I'm good. I don't drink cold coffee. As you drink a crap. We both know this is sugar and chocolate and mint with a splash of coffee. <laughs> I don't see anybody typing, so I think, I think. Okay. Okay. All right, then. So, um, I kind of expected. Oh, there... Cap thought, Cap thought that they heard bats earlier. So I'm going to just double down and say, yeah, bats. Okay. Any lines? <laughs> I'm just saying, Cray never said no to bats. She said not now. Very clearly told us not now. They didn't fit into our current build plan, but they might fit into, like, the second ring of our build plan. I just know, the second ring of our build plan is built out. I have four. That's enough for a second ring. That is enough for a second ring. Um, so, Cray never said no to bats. She said not right now. And I had poor Tina concept up. Deer Toko is not accurate, but hooved herbivorous. Yeah, and they were cool concepts. I'm being very quiet, apparently. Oh well, that's because it's right here. Oh, why would you put that microphone in my face? All right, fine. I'll keep it myself. <laughs> um, yeah, she she concepted some stuff up. It's uh, backburnered at the moment, though. Um, I think I need to have a firmer idea of what I want before I go pay her for a second round of concepts on those. You know, cat tokos are always wanted. And cat tokos are always wanted. So like Oh, oh and my noodle toko. Mm, I know what that means. So I'm not so sure about noodle tokos. But yeah, obviously as like our current build plan comes to fruition, that doesn't mean we're done. Uh but yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, any other questions, I suppose, in the, the stuff that came first? No, no questions. Okay. Just banter. Just banter. I, I do enjoy me some banter. Let's see. What's the first thing I have to spoil? Oh, right. Well, we're moving to a new topic. There must be spoilers. Enjoy this pretty picture of a upcoming UT Toko. That's right. I've been told to tell you that if you get to 200 Snowfall cards before the 20th, 21st, 
then um, I am authorizing the release of a UT prior to January. Also, how many more Advents do I get? Mm, I said that to blow me out of the water for you to get more well, Advents. Blown me out of the water. So yeah, did, I said they had to blow me out of the water. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm a harder sell. Yep. Shockingly not vit. Yeah, shockingly not vit. Is not piebald? No, that's just Kim. Oh, that's right. It's a Kim, which makes a lot of sense if you know what it does. Did we pick an official name for that? We have not. We keep going back and forth. We, well, we have some really terrible ones. Yeah, but I don't really want the terrible ones. So, um, everybody, because she can't stop me right now, basically how this is going to roll. <laughs> We already have Offering to the Gods, right? And then um, Devotion to the Spirits. I need the name for that for a mutation. One for this boy, and i got to figure it out by the 21st. If you have ideas, then feel free to drop them in the raffle channel as I kick off our first raffle. What are we raffling? Um, oh, let me see. I. Are you sure you want me to decide? Because I'm... Wild? Yeah. You don't let me pick prizes because I always overdo it. Cause okay, so four easy. gold semis. Oh, okay. Alder saver. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to save. Oh, my God, Cactus. No, not that your suggestion was awful. Just I meant some of the other ones that we had where I was like, those acronyms look terrible. So we're going to go ahead and say three gold semis and then. Yeah, I'm thinking a grand prize with an upgrade toko. Do we have a visitor? I'm not sure. I think they're just scratching at the door. Oh, I think that's Caesar. Oh, I'll go let him in. Go let Caesar in. They'll they'll want him anyway. <clears throat> Dunn's trying to like murder herself over here. Um so yes, go to the raffle. I'm gonna go ahead and give away three gold semis and then for <laughs> the grand was Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Apparently my child is outside playing his hopscotch red light green light pirate adventure and he started tapping on the window like a creepy child. Oh. <sighs> Apologies, everyone. I know I am all over the place. <clears throat> so, as I was saying, raffle starts. Give us a cool name. Three gold semis and the grand prize will get a gold semi with a UT upgrade token. Okay? Cool. Awesome. Okay. Um, can you repeat the raffle question? Okafi and Locke missed it. Twitch and Discord both missed it. Okay, so we currently have Offering to the Gods and we have Devotion to the Spirits as UTs that you use sacrificial bags to get bonuses. We are making a cool name for the third one, which works on mutations. Just... And it goes in podcast raffles. Exactly. And it should be following the same format. Something mm. to the something. Cool. Cool. Better? I think so. All right. Well, I've kicked off that raffle. All right. Let's rock and roll. Uh, how long are we leaving that up for? Like 10, 15 minutes? Probably 10, 15 minutes, yeah. That should be enough time to come up with a name. It doesn't have to be good. You just have to put a name in. But, I mean, you know, good ones would be great. <laughs> we can't really throw any stones. We haven't come up with a good one. And we've had this for, like, since summer. Yeah, yeah, basically, basically, but here it comes at Snowfall. Uh, all right, so now I think we're kicking off Craftmageddon Part 2. Where do we post this name? Discord, the Discord raffle. Podcast raffles specifically. Podcast raffles in Discord. If you don't know what that is, then welcome to Dakota's. You're in for a ride. Um, and uh, someone will get you in the Discord, I'm sure. Okay, so with that being said, somebody noticed finally. I was wondering. I was like, when did you switch that? Loki did it like a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Just waiting to see. Unshockingly, it was Kep who noticed first. Mm. I told you I had a bad week. I'm gonna be a little wild. You're stealing all all of this. You're spoiling all my content. <laughs> Am I? Am I? bit yeah no no that's fair <clears throat> so as i was saying craft where are we 
Oh dear. I'm sorry. I looked at podcast raffles and Cray broke me. Oh. Cray. <laughs> Hush money for the breadman. <laughs> Oh, craft Mageddon. Craft Mageddon. <laughs> I'll stop looking now. So, Craft Mageddon, where are we? Last time we talked, we told you our goals. We told you the problem statement. We told you what we were going to do. And this week, John and I have finished the majority of the restaurant a res- recipe rebalance. Is that your uh, work, that's, work bleeding yeah, into this? Yeah, that's my work bleeding into this. Oh my god, you've been doing crafting two times over. Yeah, I am aware, okay? (laughs) I am very aware that I can't get away from recipes and menus for the last two weeks. So, recipes. We've redone the recipes, majority of them. We've started looking at things like limits, um, and we've started looking at things like new sellback, and we're actually going to go over a whole bunch of that information right now. It's in a spreadsheet, so that should be that should be good. All right, let me see where are you at. There you are. Hopefully everybody can see my screen. All right, and this is the point where I lose access to chat because I have to go look over here. So sorry, everyone. All right, and then let's move. I wondered that myself this morning, if I could do that and set that all up. And then this morning happened, so I have not made any attempts to do those those sort of snazzy things. That's fine. I'm, I'm watching things. Okay. So last time we spoke, we were talking about adding some new materials, which we have done. Um, and you actually, I have a slide with a whole bunch of gorgeous things on us. But here, here we're going to roll down to it. So we've... We've gotten the art for flannel, glass beads, bamboo fibers, bamboo fibers, bamboo silk, banana silk, twine, all of this. We've gotten art for it with the exception of a few new things that we added, which were hammered metal, maple syrup, and molasses. They they kind of came into existence a day or two ago because we are evolving and going with this. Um, one of the things we said that we wanted to do is, yeah, this is the one I want, uh, is we wanted to take fatigue off of too many items like so we made up this wonderful little sheet right here where you can see how often each material is used and how many times and what different things this doesn't account for like three berries um it just says there's 19 recipes using berries i hope that makes sense we added a few more groupings so we've added fabric flowers wood fruit vegetables grains succulents mushrooms and herbs and so that means uh it's the same way when we say berries. You can use any berry. Well, here you can use any fabric. You can use any flowers. You can use any woods. That's what these are. And then how often they are used in different recipes. We've added all of these new ones down here. Um, and we added a few new tools. We've added a mortar and pestle. And we've added a rolling pin to go along with the iron pot that we brought up before. And I'm actually getting art for all of those done right now as well. So we've added a few more crafting tools. Um, And I know you're looking at this going, hold on, didn't you just add this and it's at 30? Yes, because we decided to use it for all of the reducer items that we talked about in chat this week, which I will get to them shortly. And also it's in pigments. It's in the alternative pigment recipe. The other half to use a cooking pot. Yes. So when you do pigments, we have two separate recipes now for you to do them. One of them uses cooking pot. One of them uses the mortar. And you can either do this with gardening items or activity items and I will look at those shortly but here's the big changes that we've kind of made here to our materials you're asking but Jill thread spools yeah we've got thread spools down to only 19 um, recipes that they're used in now they are still used to make gilded thread so the gilded thread gets included in this which I am forgetting these aren't next to each other and the gilded threads at 10 so really it's 29 recipes but that's still down from what it was before we removed it we traded it out in a ton of different places i want to say before it was like 50 or 60 mm-hmm. yeah it was like 60 so we've got but we've got it down um and that's that's the same of many things okay so here's the material changes that we've made um 
We've added a bunch of new ones to help us with uh, the strain, and that includes sugar cubes. So the only way to get sugar cubes right now is to find them. Well, last night, Don added the concept of uh, maple, sir maple sugar and molasses. Maple sugar will be craftable out of maple, which is one of the woods coming in gardening. And molasses is beetroot. Beets. It's beets, which is also out of gardening. Sugar cubes can be made from sugar cane. And sugar cubes can be made of sugar cane. So gardening will give more access to sugar, which is used in a whole bunch of different recipes, but is not purchasable in the trading post. So now there will be an alternate means of getting sugar. Um, right now, the recipes require certain types of sugar, but we will see how that rolls. Considering a sweetener category. Yeah, we're considering like a sweetener category, and then it would work like the... Uh, the, the ones above that I just showed you, grains, fruits, vegetables. We're, we're going to tweak it as we go. Um, let me see what other ones. And I already talked about how we were taking um, some strain off of thread by adding twine and yarn. And we were taking some strain off of wire by adding this har hammered metal and um, the hardened leather as well. And we do know that we've put a fair bit of strain on wild honeycomb. A fair amount of the honey side of that last night. I need to go reduce beeswax again. Okay. So we did reduce some of it ourselves. We're playing this balancing game. So a lot more strain was put on wild honeycomb. The sweeteners have taken some of that strain off because honey and sugar were the two different sweeteners. Now there's four. So now there's more that you can get, more that you can use. You don't just need wild honeycomb for a hundred things. There will be, you'll want molasses and maple sugar and sugar cubes and wild honeycomb. But the wild honeycomb also turns into beeswax or refined honey. Which I was looking up alternatives for last night. I just didn't finish them last night. That's fine. So here's the big changes that have come to materials. We've we've shoved all the crafting, or not crafting, the gardening stuff in there. We've made many more categories. We've added um, some, redu we've reduced some strain on things like sugar cubes that you can only find. And... Uh, we've added the new crafting tools. Questions, concerns about the materials side of things, like now is your moment. Feel free to bring it up, and I will answer to the best of my ability. Oh, and then you can see over here, like, Dunn has created. Here's all the fruits that you can get. Oh, sorry, I think those are vegetables. So here's a lot of, like, the fruits and stuff that you can get inside of here, and then what categories it would count as. So, like, blueberries is going to be a fruit and a berry. So you can use it in either. Coffee is a, fruit. is a fruit. Okay, so coffee is a fruit. I really suggest you not use coffee in a fruit category. You save that for your coffee. <laughs> Do we have any incoming questions about materials? Um, there are people typing. Oh. You should go show off the, uh, the pretty slide while we're for the questions. I can do that. Pop back on over here. Um, Ba-bam! So many new crafting items coming. I think on here we've got the... Oh yeah, there'll be traits. Um, <sighs> not supposed to answer. I'm not supposed to answer those questions! I know, I know. I'm just terrible about it. Uh, so here we've got, I think, the rolling pin, the glass beads. Is that the silks? Banana silks. Um, in all fairness, you didn't know I was looking. Uh, that's the glow up for the crafted caving harness, is that what it's called at the moment? Yes. Uh, is that blanket be gone? Blanket be gone and moss mask. And moss mask, which will be reducers. Yeah, we have the first <laughs> first round of items was a feeding frenzy. The second round was too. The second round was too. I had people walking in who were like, "I'll just take this section. Oh, I'll just take this section. Oh, I'll just take this section." I was like, "Oh, okay." Hand these out, hand these out, hand these out as fast as I can. And round three's coming. And round three's coming because obviously molasses and maple sugar just got out of last night. So I'm going to need more. Probably we'll wait until I figure out whatever. So the opposite for beeswax is like soy, but I didn't include soy in our gardening items. So I just need to see if there's something in that vein from what we've added already. Because I don't want to add more plants while we're dealing with the first round of plants. That also makes sense. Oh, Furion, just you wait. 
just you wait till you see one of these recipes because we literally have to daff and flick it to them. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool, cool. They are still typing. Okay, we've got the first question. All right, bring it on. Okay. Um, missed a good bit of the last podcast as far as Poison brought up. Um, all these new goodies have been excited. Will these be masking in the Topher time card? We have not looked at the rebalance of Topher time cards yet, Casey. We haven't looked at the rebalance. Um, the answer is probably some of it will. Obviously, not all of it's going to be in Toko Times because all of the activity items aren't in Toko Times. But some of the more thematically appropriate. Well, well, the flowers are always in there. The flowers are always in there. Now there's like fruits and stuff. So yeah, we might be we might be upgrading Toko Times with them. Toko Times cards are probably going to get rebalanced this year, regardless. But yeah, I think so. But dough hammer would get confused with hammer. Because we have a hammer. But, but what if you could craft a hammer and a rolling pin together into a dough hammer that works as either? Why are you trying to make my life so complicated? Do you know how many updates I have to make to crafting when I shut this system down? <laughs> Whew. Those beads do look like they've been in China. They kind of do. <laughs> they kind of do. All right. Um, are there currently any concerns about adding so many additional maps in terms of information overload personally i'm already pretty overwhelmed with what we have i guess i don't really have any kind of suggestions and obviously the work is already done but i don't want to suggest we undo that i guess i'm not really sure what my question is beyond scared expression mild concern okay so the nice thing about the crafting system is is it tells you what you need for recipes you don't have to guess this is not one of those um what is it i'm playing right now paleo pines where you walk up to the cooking pot and it goes, put things in and we'll see what happens. That's not how it works. You don't need to know um, right off the bat that bamboo silk needs, or banana silk needs bananas. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need to know that. When you go to the recipe that needs banana silk, you'll be able to click on it and zoom yourself to that recipe. Because we made that update previously where if it's a recipe that already exists, we'll send you to that recipe so you can craft it. Um and then that will tell you what you need. So yeah, <clears throat> there's a lot of information here. There's a lot of new... I'm sorry. Apparently I need to sit way over here. I don't know what we did last time where they could actually hear me. It, it was here last time. Okay. Sorry. It's fine. Let me... Uh, sorry, everyone. You're going to hear the everything moving around for a moment as I reorient myself. I pulled the microphone away from Dunn because I was closer to my screen explaining things. I'm putting it back. Hi, Jill. Hello. There. You can hear done now. She's back. Uh, so, yes, there is tons of new items. Uh, we're not expecting you to have them memorized on day one. The crafting system is designed to help you get through these things. And obviously, there will be guides and podcasts about gardening when we get there so that everyone can understand how gardening works as soon as we've got... Um, good screens to show you and to walk you through how do this do this do this so yes these concerns have been brought up to me um about the vast new amount of materials all i can say like to summarize it is if we don't add them then we continue to have 60 recipes that need thread if we don't add them we continue to have 80 recipes that need sugar if we don't add them we continue to have what is it 20 really important recipes that need alder and the only way to take strain off of these and not just put it on other items was to add new items so that there's three alternates for thread there's four alternates for fabric now there's uh sweeteners are going up to four yes there's four alternates for sweeteners and each of them will have a use um, and of course, beta, this is going into beta. All hail beta boon. Yeah. All hail beta boon. Um, if this is an absolute disaster, we will have backups and we'll take crafting down. Yeah, exactly. We'll have to do a painful reversion process. Oh, right. We'll probably end up somewhere in the middle of them. But yeah, if this is an absolute disaster, um, we'll know by February. And we'll already be like, 
hey guys, Craft Megan Rebalance um, podcast. <laughs> like, that's how it is. So yes, there's a lot. No, I don't expect you to memorize it. Crafting will help you through it. If we don't make these changes, we'll continue to have the same problems we have right now. Like, alder is uncommon, but if, if before last week, if I had asked you how rare is alder, everyone would have said very rare. Because there's so much strain on that item. And I get it. It's like a crafting gateway. Uh, is that, that's correct. It's gating. It's gating mechanic. But it just got so extreme because our game got so big. And also we can't really... <clears throat> every change we make, every new item we introduce is constantly... Like for activities is balanced against like... Well, we used to not be able to add anything for exploring. Because everybody did exploring. Because all the all the crafting materials weren't exploring. Yep. We diversified those out and then all the strain was on caving or all the strain was on diving and all the strain was on DG hunting. It just kept shifting targets. So putting crafting materials outside the activities sphere is part of the goal of gardening. Yes. It's, it's the only way to take the strain off of like single uh, things. Back when exploring required a handler, thank God it doesn't anymore. Um, back when that happened, yeah, it slowed things down, but I don't think we want that rule back, right? I don't want that rule back. I don't think you want that rule back. Um, and it, it's just the reality of it. Activities is an intensive part of the system. No matter the amount of updates we make, it continues to be an intensive part of the system. And with the more people coming into the game, the more strain we have, so... If you at least have something else to go and do that'll garner you up some crafting mats, um, that's that. And again, if all of you want to do um, activities maxed out every day of the week, cool. We'll hire to figure it out. But also, this will another avenue for more casual gameplay. Exactly. An avenue for much more casual gameplay that those of us who are crazy gamers can still do. I'm sure there will be uh, gardening guides up soon enough in our Discord. I hope that answers your concern. Um, yeah, I hope it did. Uh, next. Um, will we be getting more UTs like Forager and Taylor for all these new material types? I guess it kind of circles back to what we just said about activities. It's unlikely we're putting these gardening items into activities in any real capacity. Yeah, someone's already asked me, hey, are all of these things going into, like, Forager and Taylor? And my answer was no, because they're not in activities. Will there be gardening UTs? Yeah, probably. But they're likely going to shake out as a... Um, because remember, gardening is also going to hit beta. Uh, so we're going to have to, like, play with gardening. We're going to see... Are things too time gated, not time gated? I am expecting the first three months of the year to be a little screwy in that respect for everybody. Do I think that we've nailed this on the first day? No. That's who would have that confidence? I, not me. I'm very confident. I would not have that confidence. So as things shake out and we're making um, iterative changes to both of these systems, once we have a firm idea of, okay, cool, cool, gardening is definitely like this now, then the UTs will follow and traits will follow for doing this because I do know that tocos are very specific to gardening. So we do have more questions, but something that came across in chatter that I think you've already told me the answer to is somebody's asking about if we can end up with a list of recipes requiring a specific material on that materials tokopedia page. I think we talked about this before. And it was a harder ask than what I... So right now, if you go to Something's Tokopedia page, it tells you what its recipe is, right? Yeah. They want a list of things it's used in. Because that would have to hit the recipes table, right? Yeah, that would have to hit the recipes table. Ooh. Um, that's a... That's a... That's a soft maybe? It's a soft maybe. The last time we talked about this was prior to all of Ree's lovely optimizations. It was, and actually um, a lot of the time is this gets conflated with, uh, hey, can you show me if I have the ingredients for a recipe on the recipe select page? No, no, I cannot. I cannot do it. I'm so sorry. We have 200 recipes. I cannot 
do the processing power on the recipe select page to tell you if you have the ingredients for this or not because I have to go through the whole do you don't you is anything viable putting it together it's it's too much um so this does get conflated into that that conversation so this is a soft maybe but with the the upgrades that we've had I'm there's code in my head but I don't know if it works does that make sense you can test it later. Yeah, and I can't test it right now. This is normally the moment where I would shut up and then my fingers would start typing. And then I'd come back and go, okay, it's absolutely impossible. Or, yeah, I could do it in three months or it's done. But um, I'm on a podcast, so I can't do any of those things. You can't things. leave me to fill dead air. <laughs> you can't, can't leave done to fill the dead air. Uh, but that's, that's soft, maybe. You, so it would be like used in recipes. And I would just need to pull a list of recipes. And I guess then we would build the Tokopedia link after we pulled it which wouldn't be hard if i've got the name because they're all just by their name yeah uh, and then the recipes all run with an ingredients because there's an ingredients that are attached to a recipe so i'd really just pull the recipes in which you show up in the ingredients table and then pull it through as long as i don't have to tell you how many i can do it in one call at which point it could go on a tokopedia page all right, so what she just more or less talked us into is like, yeah, we can do that. Let's yeah, I think so. And also remember, every, go put that on the list. yeah, go put that on the list. Everything is tagged as a is an ingredient or not, a crafting mat. So only if it, ooh, I might exclude companions from that. Yeah, exclude companions. <laughs> I will that. exclude companions from that because they would have, every companion would have multiple recipes on it, which is weird. <laughs> like the sacrificial bags. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So soft maybe turning into, yeah, probably. Uh, n n next on my oh, sh hold on, Dunn's typing. Special recipes an item is used in filter based craft based on crafting mat. Yes. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure we don't actually tag companions as crafting mats, but we might. We might. I think I have to to be able to utilize them in the system. Mm, well, we're about to update some stuff. All right, we'll figure that out. Yeah, everybody's like, coder brain goes burr. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> sorry, everybody. Like, uh... Oh, yeah. Lot, uh, companions are used for crafting large sacrificial bags and um, summoning a Vipac. Yeah, that's two recipes. <laughs> Very dark, I know. <laughs> I'm only We didn't make this. Why aren't we responsible for a large bag? We are responsible for the bag. However, with how the trait works, it had to be over X value. Which and, meant only companions. Oh crap! You're right. Yeah. So it like it had to be a companion. It was just less explicit, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, moving on. Oh, good point. Coda brain goes burr from re. We have to account for berries and families like that. Oh my gosh, you're right. We have to account for those. That's a little. Tri I'm just gonna copy a message link to what re just posted, and we'll circle back to that. Yes. Yes. Love having Ree's brain. Yeah, me, me too. Sorry, no, no. I'm, I'm focused. focused. I'm focused. I'm focused. I'm here on the podcast. I'm focused. I'm not. I'm not off on code land. I swear. Okay. Uh, did we have more questions? Have more okay. Questions. Cool. 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 I love this. I want all these questions. Have you guys thought about ways to automate activity roles to take the strain off that particular part of the game? We have taken strain off activity rollers with things like the activity codes. Um. But another part of the strain that needs included in the equation is the strain on you guys making art. Because there's so many other avenues in the game to do art for. Mm -hmm. We don't want you just to have to endlessly grind up activity rolls all day. Also true. Uh, and as far as like automating goes, someone still has to check the art. I'm, I'm not sitting here going, but you, and uh, I, sh I should pick someone who would, no, hold on. I was going to, like, grab somebody random out of chat and be like, and you, facetiously. But I'm like, I don't actually want you guys to, like, point at someone. Because what if actually they've been kicked for activity roles and I did not know this and now I've done a whole horrible thing. So you, random person. Me. Okay, Me has been kicked for You activity. definitely. So I can use Dunn. Um, Dunn's been kicked for activity roles before. Uh, and it sometimes it's stupid things you didn't think about. Sometimes it's legitimate things. Sometimes it's just the natural slippage of... The grind. Um, and when I say that, what I mean is someone has been, you know, like at full tilt for like two months, their first role versus their last role in that two month period. They do look a little different. You get tired. And that's all it is. It's the slippage from being just tired of the grind. Um, 
And we do hit people for that every now and then when their quality just keeps, it's like at a constant decline. I'm not going to hit you for one bad roll. That's ridiculous, but you know. So like there's a judging aspect here and we wouldn't have art judgers if everybody could judge their own and understand all the rules that they have them as it is. Like it, it happens all the time. People don't understand. We thought we've explained it well. Turns out it doesn't translate well to German or something like it, it happens. So the art judging still needs to happen. And that is the biggest strain on activities because at this point they just drop the comment and they're done. Um, the activity code does the majority of work for them. That's why they're required. The activity code loads the activity roller the same way the breeding code does. It, it even puts like the name of your toko in there, the ID of your toko. They literally just have to hit roll in most situations. Now it even generates a link to link you to the activity journal. Yeah. Now it'll even generate links to throw you to activity journals to speed them up. So like... The only way we can get faster is doing it on site, which has been a whole discussion. It's been a whole like three year discussion. Um, so, yeah, there is a possibility of speeding them up a little bit more by changing how trackers work. But that's a next year problem, not a this year problem. The art judging is the majority of the strain there. But thank you for the question. Follow up to two questions ago with the concern about additional mats. Yes. Are the alternate mats being implemented into each of their own activity type or are they going to be spread across the whole system? I guess I'm a little bit more concerned about breadth of items versus depth of possibilities. I.e. would I be more likely to find one of each of the types of fabric versus a four of the type I need? Granted, everything is the same chance, but those weird statistic holes exist for a reason. I imagine trading with players will continue to play a huge part but without knowing what the market is going to look like. It sure is exciting in a positive way. Thank you, Face. So they are going to be spread across the system. If you're after um, banana silk, bananas aren't in activities. You aren't going to find them by doing activities. You're going to find them by gardening fruits. Simple as that. But you'll also find them in the produce boxes where the, sh the store will likely continue to exist. Yes. Alcestia and Quest can take produce boxes and use them in Quest's. Whether exactly. monthly or chains. Exactly. So I don't... Adventures. Adventures. They'll be in Adventures as I, well. I think some of these plants already show up in Adventures because like barrel cactus have pulled for post beer early. Yeah. And that's, again, that's fine. So um, the goal is just not to put them in activities. That doesn't mean that some of the stuff isn't going to show up in Shrine. Dunn is waiting until we're done with this before she hits Shrine Rebalance, which we know will likely be happening very late December. So you'll be moving into January with new shrine odds that'll have the build groups and it'll have gardening items in there. Because the goal is not that they are exclusively in gardening. It's just that they're exclusively not in activities. But they, they'll they be around other places. Um, yes. And of course the produce boxes, which when I put them up, they will be daily. So you can go and buy eight boxes a day to start like buffering yourself a nice little crop of gardening items as we roll into the new year and then as the system comes out you can start getting them um you know consistently through the use of that particular system um and when we've gotten to that point where we're like okay everyone's had time to get their gardenings up their gardenings are producing then we'll move these to weekly but i don't actually think we're going to take them down and the more i think about it the more i think that the produce will just continue to be there at which point people will have tons they're not using and trade it mm -hmm. i hope that clarified it better if I'm still like missing the point, I'm sorry. I'm not. I don't think I'm catching what you're actually asking at that point. Uh, don't be using typing in feedback. Feed, not feedback. Questions. Questions. Should I be closing this raffle? Yeah, go ahead and close that raffle up. Oh my god, it's been up for thirty minutes. Ooh. Yeah, they've had time. They've had time. Then roll me four winners. The first one is the grand prize winner. <clears throat> okay. You're supposed to enter on Discord, my friend. Don't worry, there'll be a second raffle. I'm in that mood today. Yeah, 
42. <laughs> Did you know that 42 is the answer to life and everything for an actual reason? I may have told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again while Dunn does this. How many round winners am I rolling? I need four. The first one you roll is the grand prize winner who gets the, the upgrade token as well. The others just get the semi. So, <clears throat> 42 is the answer to everything for a reason. When you take 42 <clears throat> to something called ASCII, and ASCII is basically your keyboard. When you're looking at your keyboard, A, B, C, D, all of that, A, S, D, F, all of that, they translate to an ASCII number. 42 translates to the star, or encoding, as we call it, the wild card symbol. And we call it the wild card symbol because when you take it to a database and you start searching, um, when you don't know what you're looking for or you want to get any sort of answer, you put a star in there as your wild card symbol and then you search. So the wild card can literally mean anything. So when you take 42 and you move it into land of code, the meaning to life is anything that you want it to be right now. So 42 actually is the meaning to life. It's not just a joke because the meaning to life is whatever you need it to be. You got my winners? No, I rolled high numbers for three of these. Oh, Give me a minute. <laughs> my gosh. I should have gone slower. My bad. My bad. <clears throat> oh, no. You were winning the wrong raffle channel. Oh, yeah, it's podcast. Sorry, it's podcast raffles. Um, Don't worry. We will have a second raffle today because that is the mood I am in. Done still working. Quick, someone give me a topic to talk about for like two more minutes. That sounds engaging and, and stuff. Silence. I can't read chat for you right now. <laughs> I'm looking at this chat. I'm on s stream chat. Bear dog top. Okay, a bear dog topic. I guess I could talk about Tococon a little bit. Um, so, Tococon is coming this May, late May, Memorial Day, Memorial Day weekend. Um, I know some people have been asking about it already. I mean, you continue. I'll double check my accounts, but I've got them. Okay, so some people have been asking about it already. Details about Tococon are coming in January news. Okay? January news. How many? None, because I cleaned yesterday, Kex. Ooh, uh, spice. <laughs> well, she knows. None, because I cleaned. <laughs> but um, Tococon, the full details of what I have are coming in January. As of right now, Saturday is going to be our big day at Tococon. So if you're like looking and you're trying to make your decision um, and you're like, oh, I don't want to do the full event of GameX at Strategicon GameX Memorial Day weekend, Saturday is going to be our big day where the majority of everything is going on. So you want a Saturday pass. Um, in January, I will be posting about the exact times, the exact places that will be. Um, the itinerary will not be up, but like a fully confirmed this, this day, this place, this time will be there. And I'm going to start um, asking for people who want to run panels. That includes non-admins. Like, I would love to see some of our non-admins show up and tell us about the cool things that they are doing and they are working on in Wolf Bear Dog Land. Um, I'll be kicking off well, I say kicking off. Other people have been working on it, too. I will be usurping and then kicking off a coloring book project to have a coloring book for Khan. And that'll be coming in January as well. And um, I will see if I can get Victor <laughs> to give me better instructions about buying passes. I've never bought a pass, too. I'm so... Oh, I sound so terrible. I've never bought a pass to Strategicon. I get in... I got in for free... Because I was a guest, a guest of honor for my Iron GM stuff once. And every other time Victor has just sent my husband passes. So like, I apologize. I'll get you some more information on that um, for buying passes. Because you don't want the February one. You want GameX. Cool. Oops. Okay, well, in that case... We can reach out to them and we can get them flipped if you still want to go or we can get you refunded. I will 
I will talk to Victor and tell him the, the confusion that has happened. Um, we, we will get you all sorted. He'll he'll trade passes. I'm pretty sure they all cost about the same. And he's dying for more people to come to GameX anyway because it is their quietest con of the year. Because it's the same weekend as Phoenix Comic Con. Because it's the same weekend as Phoenix Comic Con and it's like a month before San Diego Comic Con. California. California. Los Angeles. Los Angeles specifically. It's right next to the airport. All right. There's your winners. All right. I got my winners. <clears throat> Can you read that? So, starting off with our gold semi-winners, congratulations, Rem, you've won. Slow and Falalalak, you have won a gold semi as well. And, uh, oh, Izumi? Neon Izumi. Neon Izumi, you've won the gold semi and the UT upgrade token to go with it. Woo! We'll get those into your banks at the end of the podcast. We'll get those into your banks at the end of the podcast. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm going to roll back over here. I think we've had all of our questions about, like, materials um, and where they stand. Now, what does this translate to? This translates to this new recipe tab. Let me go uh, talk about the things that we haven't done yet so that you know what they are. And after I finish the things that we haven't done, I'm going to kick off the second raffle. All right? Cool. Okay, so um, <clears throat> all of the activity items <laughs> are not done. We we come to the realization, and this is on nobody. Literally nobody gets blamed for this, not even myself. They haven't been looked at or touched or thought about since their initial inception, as far as I can tell. Looking at the typing on them, we just like move them over as they were and just never touched them again. Yeah, literally never touched them again. Um, their bonuses are wild. And all over the place and don't really reflect, reflect like current tokos. So activity items, we do not have them properly um, labeled. We do not have them sorted out on this public sheet that you will be able to get access to. Um, because we think that they probably need to change. That we need to do like a small project of updating all of these. Does that mean that maybe they're going to be like unavailable come January? Possibly. We'll see how fast it rolls. We'll see what changes we want to make. But right now, like, Bear Trap gives you, like, guarantees you one very rare pelt. There's only one very well, very rare bear pelt. What? Maybe there used to be more. And when we did, like, an art update, we lost some. Like, that's a possibility. So much has happened since crafting started. <laughs> Apologies. I don't mean to keep sniffling into the microphone. I know it's probably gross. Um... So yes, the activity stuff is wild and all over the place. And some of these bonuses don't feel like common items. So they are, they've been pulled out to specifically talk to activities, which I haven't done yet. Like I, we came to the agreement at, what was it, like 12.45 last night that these needed to go to their own spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these got pulled off the list at 12.45 last night as we were on day 14 of Craft Mageddon. Um... And that's why they're they're not done. So if you're asking about any of the the homemade bait, hunting snares, all of that, I don't have answers yet. Right now, they haven't been touched. We're going to go talk about them there to the side. Next, gecko food. Tape toes used to be super cool. They used to be the thing that everybody wants. I can't remember the last time I equipped a tape toe to something. Well, you're a UT breeder. You never would. Oh, that's, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Um, but, like, I, it doesn't necessarily seem like it's going to be a s super high-value item. We've we've done the job of, like, things we thought we people didn't like. We, we checked how many have been crafted this year. Um, and, oh, we were like, oh, never mind. People actually do craft these. We better fix the recipe and move it along. This is not one of those. Um, most people don't craft gecko food very few crafts this year um and so we're looking at maybe reworking gecko food into something else uh, retaining the recipe dunn's pitched like making it um a creature whisperer one use creature whisperer all of the appropriate traits that are associated to it one use item and putting it through as the uncommon that it is uh, at which point it will definitely not have two refined honey in it because that's insanity. 
Uh, but that's where that stands. We're, we're probably going to have to retool gecko food as it currently stands. It's not really used. And then you'll see here I have the herbal scrubs, the cookie sheet, the crafting kit. Once we have a decent idea what the rest of this looks like, these guys will approach. I think bonuses are going to need change. I said it last week. I'm feeling more firm on it this week. The bonuses are probably going to have to change. And we do have some conversations to have about how limiting and not limiting affects these things. Because right now a lot of them will be like, oh, it only works on like uncommon and common. And yeah, so these are these are still up in the air. They'll be getting touched along with Potbelly Pig. And I think it's Sheep is our other one, our crafting companions. Yeah, all of those, because they're crafting bonuses as well. They're all going to get hit with the crafting bonuses sweep. Totems. I told you Totem Health was kind of on like a, a stall at the moment. One change is definitely happening to Totems. Right now, they're 10 logs each. We've switched them to the generic wood category. So that means logs, maple, um, blackthorn, birch, all of them. Doesn't matter. You just need 10 wood doesn't have to be logs to do them and we are having conversations about um things like bat and coyote and all of that may need to be reclassified i think in the original classification they were counted as late game totems because they're very powerful to the banking side of the world but they may be getting reclassified more to mid or early game totems with just like the reality of gameplay or we have to change their bonus or we have to change their bonus combos, um, things of that nature are kind of happening. So we are, we may be lowering. I suggest you not craft one of these totems this month. I 100% suggest you do not craft totems in December because they're not, they're definitely not going up. They're probably going down. Except for Budgie. Budgie's fine. Budgie's fine. Budgie's fine. You That one, have fun. Craft your Budgies. But everything else is probably going down. Wait for after the totem rebalance. It, it's either going to be what you're staring at right here where the logs are being switched for wood or the various quantities of what you need to do things like the fragments might be going down to 30. That's kind of where my brain's at right now. Don't spend the 20 fragments you don't have to spend. So don't do it. Wait for me to finish this part. Okay? And then finally, summoning of IPAC. Dunn has many ideas here. So it's kind of like a little one-off legendary sitting on its own. We're discussing it. There may be other summonings. I had them as incense. But yeah. I guess we could switch them to summoning circles. Yeah. So this is, again, a little in the air right now. Obviously, you don't have to have a stoat. Stoat is just what we were using to be a companion in this situation. All right. So those are the ones that we haven't done. And then some of these ones down here. Um, They're down here because we just need to balance them against each other. Exactly. You could tell them our large, small pelt debate. Okay. I wouldn't say we... It never got even close to a physical fight, but last night me and Dunn were snipping each other over leather strips. So here's the thing. We rebalanced pelts and their pricing a while ago. And in that rebalance, large and small equalized so that neither would be better than the other and it wouldn't put too much strain on any one pelt where everyone's like well i only hunt bear because bear is the only thing that makes you money yeah no i gotcha goat. you mean goat you, i meant goat so um <clears throat> in that that technically means that when you're looking at leather strips here these two right here it makes more sense to craft using a large pelt because you lose the least amount of tt when you do that Dunn thinks that we should move that to a one-to-one -one on both of them. I am pretty certain that if we do, some of you are going to be thematically upset because it doesn't make sense that they make the same amount of leather because they're different sizes. And I know that sounds really silly, but I have been running this game for a while, okay? I am pretty sure someone is going to come around and go, but that doesn't make any sense at all. And thematically, if that's how you're going to do it, 
then one large pellet should make two leather strips, which then still unbalances them mathematically. Like, I get what she's saying mathematically. I think thematically we're going to be hit about it. So we're having a pretty epic debate on it. That being said, let's start our second raffle. Give me your opinion on this subject. <laughs> your opinion is probably what's going to drive the deciding factor in the end here. Oh, maybe I should on the start comment say what it is. Yes. Fuck, how do, how do I say this? Oh, I shouldn't have cursed in the podcast. Oh, this is recorded. <laughs> For shame. I'm gonna get us demonetized. Are we even monetized? We're not monetized at all. You've got some mealy mouth going on. Wow. Okay, um, start. Should leather strips Should leather strips be one X large pelt or one X small pelt or one X large pelt two X small pelt? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm sure I've typed this confusingly. <laughs> do you want it thematically or mathematically? Make your choice. What if I do this? They look like little things together. And that's what parentheses are for? That's what code, code blocks are for. Ugh. Okay. So, yes. Give me your thoughts on that. We, in all fairness, it was 2.30 in the morning. We were We were both pretty much like, I don't care, but I'm telling you, there's going to be people who think differently on this. And if you all turn around and go, no, mathematically is fine. Wonderful. Apparently I've, I win. Apparently I've done my job over the years to make you believe in the math over the thematics. <laughs> I'll still win to some degree, <laughs> even if she was right. But we're having a similar discussion on meat chunks. We're having the same discussion on meat chunks. So these things are sitting down here because we're having those discussions about them. They'll, um, most of this has a, an overriding points value as it is. And we're using like the average of all of these to determine its points, uh, there. So like small meat chunks, sacrificial bags, a lot of things like that where we're still sorting out. And then we just haven't moved slots up yet or totem pouches. I'm pretty sure the slots are staying the same. Those seem to have held pretty well. Yeah, I would think so. So they'll, they'll be moving up. Yes, they'll be remaining free. No, we're not going to hide them behind anything. It's just that they're going to be limited and you can see some of the limits there. So this is the stuff that isn't done and I've kicked off the raffle. I don't really know if I want to... Oh, I mean, I don't mind taking questions about them, but the reality is I'm probably just not going to have a lot of answers for you because if I had answers, they wouldn't be sitting in this section. Is there anyone typing questions right now? I mean, I'll, I'll take them. I don't see anybody typing. Okay. Yeah, if, I guess if you have questions, go ahead and type them. I just may not have answers because, as I just said, they wouldn't be in this section if I knew the answers. We were having debates about them as late as 2 a.m. last night, so. Yeah. Yeah, we were. I don't see anybody typing. I'm thinking we can roll along. Fish leather. Fish leather. Fish leather? Yeah, we'll just make a fishing version of leather. Oh, that's scales. That's scales. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Ooh, I felt crazy for a second there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. Alrighty. Scrolling back up. Alright. Um, Where do I want to hit first here? There's so many recipes. We're obviously not going to go through every single recipe. That's insanity. Okay, well, we technically showed them Toko Teddies last week to show them the different types of things. And I think we went through tech, more or less. Um, in hit the breeding items. Hit the breeding items. Okay. Start there. Let's start. Let's, at, let's start at the breeding items, which are. Give me a second. I have to move away from my mic to find them because I have terrible eyesight. They are line fifty-six starting, and that's got a bunch of re rarity reshuffles and stuff. Okay, yeah, it does. Why aren't these all highlighted as rarity reshuffles? I don't know. Oh, no. Where'd my tiny terror tincture go? Uh, this one? Right here? Oh my god, my eyesight's bad. Ooh. Yeah, your eyesight's terrible. It, it's not, mine is. Okay, so, w reading items. I've had a massive reshuffle. And you're all staring at this and going, hold a second, am I reading that correctly? Is Primal Potion and Sprinter Solution and Tall Draught all gone rare? Yes, friends. Yes, it has. Am I limiting it? I don't know. Maybe not is the answer. If we do, it probably won't be three because 
What do we care if you use five of them between starter and main thread? I, I guess I really don't. Yeah, I think if I'm going to limit them, they're going to be limited at five. But, um, so I guess we'll start at the very bottom. The small sacri or large sacrificial bag. Shouldn't small one be there as well? Small sacrificial bag is... Oh, it's bottom. it's in... Yeah, we're still... It's in limbo. Tech. It's still limbo land. I can bring it Get up. out of my head. You get out of my head. Actually, I think I can bring it up. Why is this down here? No, this, this yeah. shouldn't be down here. It should, because one of them's five and one of them's two. No, it's four, three, three, two. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's why it's down there. Okay, I know. Greek to everybody there. Uh, but, so... I, I resolve that by increasing the pacing. The, the bag is, again looking good this isn't really changing i think it moved to free rather than uncommon and that's all that's happened to it it's just had a rarity shuffle uh feminine masculine soul pool pebble and then all of the trinkets they all moved to common uh some of them came from uncommons all right some of them came from uncommon i think i think one of them may have come from rare uh and we just kind of we, we were looking at the effect of what they do we were looking at how much value their current recipes had, and the majority of them actually fell closer in line with common than they did of the rare tier that they were at. I might need to scroll down now, sorry. Oop, I do need to scroll down now. So I'm talking about these guys right here. So we were looking at them, and I want to say that Masculine Potion started its life off at a 10-pointer, which does put it into the uncommon tier, but like barely in the uncommon tier. And we had heard multiple times um, that masculine and feminine were not well stacked. There's so many theories around why that was. But let's say we all know that lots of people wanted to be able to ensure they got masculine potion really easy and didn't really care about feminine potion because of a slot on balance that we have since changed. So we decided we're definitely going to bring them in line. And when we were bringing them in line, they just were coming up smaller. So we went, yeah, all right, let's move them down the list. Um, and then we switched them to include some gardening items. Some, uh, I think these are like common, uncommons. Two's a common. Two's a common. Yeah, so these are common gardening items. Um, we stuck the, we moved both of them to berries, water, and then threw the cooking pot on there. So they came up at eight pointers. They are now pretty well balanced um, in general, and they should be good to go. Shiny Pebble was just really high rated, but it wasn't, its recipe didn't match. So we uh, we brought it down and we also decided that it would make three. I think it currently makes three. Does it? Yeah. I thought that was the one that we had a, I was like, why does this make one, but you put three pebbles into it? Oh, well, maybe you were correct. So we, we increased the amount that it generated and we, we moved over. Like you weren't getting a lot for the amount you were putting in. So we went ahead and said, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. Um, and then the carved trinkets, I, they were the same. They just moved rarity. Their recipes actually didn't really change. I think we've put... No, pigments were already in there. Pigments and... Oh, no, I think these ones stayed the same. We just moved their rarity down. Their recipes already matched common rarity, so we just moved them down. Um, and then for Show's hair clip, I think these got a little bit of a tweak, and Show's hair clip got a second one using actual flowers instead of just paper flowers. And by flowers, we mean... Any flowers. So any flowers you get, you can use instead of having to take your wood to paper to make paper clip Actually, hair clips. You will not, no longer make paper from wood. You'll be making it from papyrus or rice. Oh, there we go. From papyrus or rice. So, yeah, that that's basically what happened there. And these are, you know, fine. But you guys probably care a little bit more about things further up here. Uh, so I don't think anything really changed on our ceramic figurines. They have remained actually the same across the board. I don't even think we changed the recipes. I don't remember changing them. We might have tweaked the pigment around. We might have tweaked the pigment around, but that'll be about it. <laughs> and then finally, we did an overhaul on the breeding consumables for build boosters. I think we call them build boosters. Mm -hmm. um, so Tiny Terror Tincture has always been rare. It's the only one that was rare. But we did update its its recipe. I think we took one of the honeys out. Um, we added wheat in there. So some gardening items. Um, sugar cube. And then we did cooking pot. I didn't want to put iron pot on these even though they're rare. Because I didn't want them to be up that high in point value. Because the goal was to actually bring them all down into the rare category. 
Um, we switched a bunch of these out, so you'll notice that things like um, black currant is gone. We did leave the bag of spice. The bag of spice has changed. Bag of spice has changed. It no longer requires alder. We've moved it to spices from gardening. And bag of spice will be doubleable with things like uh, painted dog, painted dog, and other doublers. And obviously, we're looking at our current doublers to decide what will and won't affect them and change them. But I don't think we're in bag of spice. We're only using four recipes now, and it itself is a free recipe using cinnamon, garlic, and coriander. So and gardening items. Does it generate two? Yes, it generates two. Yeah, so Bag of Spice got a really big overhaul. Um, it generates two instead of one. It uses spices and gardening items exclusively, and it's only in four recipes now. So, uh, and it'll be in the diorem, and it'll also be in the sprinter solution, and then Berry Compot will handle some of the others. Um, salt water. Do you have molasses twice on there? Do I? No, no, you don't. You don't. I was looking at the one above. Just ignore that. It's it's fine. This one has molasses and maple sugar. Super sweet. Yeah, apparently Kinos like things that are super sweet. It's almost like maybe that's their scientific name. It almost is. So these all moved down in uh, rarity. They have a mix of some gardening and some crafting item or gardening and activity items that'll be in there. None of it is particularly rare, though. I think at most, these are like... The stuff in Bag of Spices uses rare items out of gardening, but that's why it generates multiples. But that's why it generates multiples, exactly. Because the price, we decided it needed to generate multiples based on that. Um, these are one of the things that are on my, my bullet list of pay attention to these at the start of beta to see uh, how it goes. Obviously... We're going to need to get through crafting being live and seeing how well things are coming out of crafting. They should be coming out of crafting pretty... Not crafting. Jill, get your words right. When <laughs> gardening goes live and we're seeing the generated amounts out of gardening, we may... These will be primed for being tweaked based on that. But we can also tweak it in the other direction where we're tweaking gardening drop rates. Yeah. Yeah. I'm counting both of those. Like... The first three months of the year, we're going to be seeing tweaked rates all over the place and everyone will just need to have a little patience with us because things will have to be tweaked on the fly. If we notice that like the gardening rates are either too high or too low, we don't want to wait a whole month before we make the change. We might have to be like, hey guys, this change is coming in like two days um, so that we can just like fast moving, agile process, iterative updates as we go here. So these are these, uh, and then we left a couple things up here in Legendary, uh, but we did, actually, I don't think we changed the majority of these. Um, some of them got updates, I thought. Oh. Well, Ewa didn't change. No, Ewa changed. You no. put button mushrooms. Oh, but that's right. Edible mushrooms is just becoming button mushrooms. Because there's multiple <laughs> types of edible mushrooms. Just a weird quirk of the system. A weird quirk of the system. So yeah, edible mushrooms is getting renamed, I think, to button mushrooms, right? Yes. Okay. So anywhere you see button mushroom and edible mushroom, synonymous. All right. Um, exquisite bone flute and thread of fate did get updated. Uh, yes, they're using the gilded thread. They're using the gilded thread now. Great time to talk about those. Yep. Go for it. Why me? You do it. Go. Okay, but I don't know exactly what you want me to say. Well, I mean, did we? Well, we kind of went over gilded thread and hammered metal and all that. We we did. Overall, they're using less thread than up front. It's just that these ones are thread and ore. I want to say the thread of fate was five thread spools. Was that it? It was a lot. Hold on, Dunn's double checking for me. Uh, thread of fate, thread of fate, thread of fate, thread of fate. Very very quickly checking for me. Except I misspelled Thread of Fate. Wow. It currently uses 10 thread spools. Okay, so Thread of Fate currently uses 10 thread spools. With Gilded Thread, that's actually only 4 thread spools. So there's a significant decrease on the thread requirements, but it does require you to also have ore. Um, ore being any of the nuggets or iron ore. Yes, any of the nuggets or iron ore. That's the ore category, not specifically an item called ore. 
Uh, so these ones, again, are on my pay attention to these to see if we've absolutely like murdered the ability to make them or not. But we have dropped a significant amount of the, the required pieces in this to bring them in line. I want to say one of them was stupid high and the other was stupid low. For which one? For uh, Exquisite Bone Flute and Thread of Fate. Because those are ones people are going to care about. Uh, Exquisite Bone Flute was super low because we hadn't coded the correct value in for Stone of Ipec. It has an override value. It's got an override value now. That's right. Now it's a 10-pointer. Um, so, yeah. They've changed. Uh, we'll keep our eyes on them. Is kind of where we're at on those. I will pause now for questions on breeding consumables and also give you like a five-minute warning on the raffle. I assume there will be questions. Oh, there already is a question. Glorious. Quick chef. Quick, quick shuffle. Jeez. <laughs> how will the how will the rarity reshuffle affect unlocked recipes? Will you have to unlock the common uncommon versions again? No. If you have it unlocked, it's going to remain unlocked. Period. Um, I don't feel a need to take the recipes off of you. And if you've uh, lost progress towards a crafting tier, as I said last week. We will handle those on case-by-case -case basis to get you where you need to go. All right. I don't see any more. And everybody knew throw a fade off the top of their head. Did ten. they? Ten. ten. <laughs> yeah, it was really high, and it was a lot of strain on thread. It's just playing into that why we're separating thread out into multiple items. I guess I could technically do gilded thread where a variant where you could do wire and thread, but why? Yeah, but why? Well, only if we find out that it's gated too hard, we can talk about it. Yeah. Because yeah. we're not going to know that until it's actually in play. Right now, I'm like, it sounds solid. <laughs> All right. Anyone typing? Nope. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Then, um, so this might surprise you all. Turns out that these three uh, decor ones, crafted, hand paint dyes, homemade small item, homemade large item, they are crafted significantly more than I thought. There has been 89 large items crafted this year that is 89 more than i thought had been crafted this year you underestimate our need for decor i clearly did these have shuffled down in rarity uh and their recipe has been updated a little bit as well uh to be a little uh, smaller in general so they have moved down to common and uncommon their recipes have been shuffled down of course you will have this link you'll be able to go in and look at all of these recipes switching you go look at homemade large all right go look at homemade large about making tweets while we're like literally live you really should this has been my life done making tweaks to crafting who um these free ones didn't really change actually i think these all moved up we do have a couple new ones so if you didn't know which i don't think many of you actually knew a six injury type is coming in january actually they do know because we've accidentally applied it to you tokos since uh, how did we accidentally apply it okay a sixth injury type is coming in january which means it'll need it's a free healing item and it's uncommon healing item which is going to be healing pad and banana pudding it's called cramped cramped yeah cramped um there's a lot of reasons that we're doing this but mostly it is to make my soul happy because then we will have six injuries, which means we can apply them to the six different stats that we have in Adventure. And we can basically have, like, this injury means negative two to this, and this injury means negative two to that. And you will no longer be locked out of doing Adventures if you have an injury. Huzzah. Exactly. So it's all part of, like, a, a balancing with activities. We've had this on the to-do list for a while. Um we hadn't pulled the trigger on it because it required... A... We wanted to make sure we were between seasons. We did want to make sure we were between seasons. And we also wanted... We need... Well, we needed a bonus or negative for it. I believe it's Hitnari's. I don't... Fuck. I'm pretty sure it's hitting Ari's. Um, There's just a lot of things going on. Yeah. Yeah, Ari's. It's hitting Ari's. Full details, obviously, in January. Um... And then each one of these is going to affect a stat and give you a negative based on the level and the type of injury. So cool, 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 cool. That's where they're rolling. And these are the new healing items that are being associated to it as well. All right. 
nothing too crazy going on there. I don't think these other recipes changed other than maybe like some sweetener changes out. Like we left them pretty, pretty much the same. Um, we just switched out some of the sweeteners because we were running into that sugar cube and honey problem where they were just, they were having the same problem as thread. I guess we just don't use them in as many recipes as we craft all the time. So people don't talk about them as much as thread and wire. Uh, here's some stuff you guys probably really care about. So, HP scroll, knocked down to common. And I think it didn't, we switched out to an inkwell from berries. But that's, that's it. Should we switch it to cotton bolt to fabric? I'm fine with that. It's, it's, it's an HP scroll, go for it. It, it can so be generics. Any extra fabrics you got? HP scrolls, go for it. Exactly. Uh, creature cage, actually, I think you remained basically the same. We didn't mess with that because creature cage is a really big used one. We didn't want to mess with it too hard. And I think Forge. One of our examples. Yes. Forge gold metal has changed. Uh, we took out the thread. How much thread was it? Five. Five. So we took out the thread and we replaced it with gilded thread. So you're still doing a reduction in the amount of thread that you need. It does require ore. It can be any ore. Um, and otherwise it's changed. There is some... I'm looking for the correct word. Discourse. Discourse. Yeah. No, we can call it discourse. There is some discourse on the limit being there. Some admins are okay with it. Some admins are not okay with it. We are talking it through... Um, the math that was thrown down this morning by someone was if it's limited at three a month, remembering that limited in our current plan can't be doubled. If it's limited at three a month, that means you can craft 36 of them a year. Most people will find themselves utterly unaffected. Some people, me and Dunn, um, may find themselves affected. It's about how many tokos you take to alpha a year, right? That's what it's used for. So... That discussion is still ongoing. This is not set in stone. Please keep in mind that this entire sheet is not set in stone. But specifically that right there is not set in stone. Is our raffle closed up? Oh, I was supposed to be closing that. You were. So, yeah. Go ahead and close that and count that. Thank you. Oh, I need to pick a prize for that. Guys, yeah, give me ideas. I need an idea for a prize. I was not prepared. Wait, where am I supposed, am I supposed to be counting or am I supposed to be watching chat for you? I, I can watch chat. I, I can flip back on over here and do that. Um, and I just want more gold semis. Ooh, starter slots. I know. Okay, three platinum starter slots and one aurorium. Ooh, jeez. You are in a mood today. I told you. I'm going to make myself feel better by making people happy. Okay, so an aurorium <laughs> slot and then plat. Three plats, one aurorium. First roller gets the aurorium. Give me a minute to go count. You continue your discussions, and I'll let you know when I've got my count. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Running back over here. Um, okay. So that's where that stands. Now you're all like, hold on, Jill. There's only one that I really, really care about in this entire situation. What happened to the trait token? I heard you. I did. <laughs> it was insanity. I don't, I don't know. I have no excuse for you other than I looked at it and was like, this is insane. Um, I assume just because it used to be significantly rarer. <laughs> but for trait token, we have switched it to use maple, knife, and pigment. That's it. Maple, knife, and pigments. That's all it is. It comes up to a whole 14 points on the system. It used to be like 55. It's 14 now. We massacred the point values on here. We brought it down. And we currently have it as an uncommon limited five. If it shows not to be dramatically effective on our economy, then I'll raise it to 10. I figured it was just easier to start at 5 and raise it to 10 than start it at 10 and bring it down to 5 on y'all. But um, that's what we're looking to do to trait token. Yes, we picked maple because of counterfeit heart. I know. I know. But it, like we were sitting there like, okay, we're, we're going to switch this from a log. We don't want it to be on log because there's so much on there. And I was like, hold on, what did we claim it was? It was like Kutrick maple or something, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. So we used maple. I know, I know, I'm ridiculous. 
I fully admit to that ridiculous. I'm not hiding it. Uh, and a bunch of these other ones did not change, but we did put um, limits on them. So for things like Metamorphous Mixture, Soul Tome, and Spirit Trap, they're going to feel the exact same as they current do. They currently do, and um, I think Spirit Soul Tome, we switched to the Gilded Thread. You'll notice a track of sometimes switching away from... Uh, oh, no, both of these did. Apologies. We moved those to the Gilded Thread, like the, and we moved this to Hardened Leather. As you hit those rare and legendaries, we're using more of like the combo items of like Hardened Leather and that. So you'll feel that there, but their limits are going to be the exact same. And for Stone of Ipac, I want to say that, or not Stone of Ipac, for Metamorphosis, I actually don't think we changed it. I really don't think we changed it. Did we add that bag of spices? Did you already need that bag of spices? I think I switched this to an iron pot and that was about it. For which one, Metamix? Yeah. I'm just going to look at it right now. I would be shocked if I had said added a bag of spice, but... I think we took it out of Metamorphosis Mixture. Yeah, you can't. Maybe I should put an override so I can just put Meta Mix in there and find it. It uses a bag of spice currently. Okay, it does. Okay, so we didn't remove that, but I did switch it to the Iron Pot, which is the upgraded version of the cooking pot, which we have super awesome art, I want to say, from Kep. So, yeah, that's where they're standing. Um, and Tack Trunk moved down to Uncommon, um, and its recipe was, was taken down a little bit, like we removed a little bit from it. The, the reasoning behind that is you can have as much tack as you want on a toko. There's no limit to it, unlike companions and traits where you are limited. So their removers are more powerful than the, the tack remover. So that's, that's where that stands, okay? And I don't think there actually, there is no legendary tack remover because there's no legendary tack. So... Okay. Well, I know what you mean, but there's no, like, limited tack. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and then, uh, last one before I uh, open for questions is, you all know Witch's Broom and Chicken Coop? Yeah, we changed those recipes up. We changed them up something fierce. Um, they weren't getting a ton of use, so I don't really feel bad about this, like, at all. But uh, we switched it to be things more like cat grass and yarn and sage. And then for the chickens, we got um, corn, hammered metal, and oats. And we have added four new ones. We've got the hare hutch, the lovely perch, the stork's nest, and reindeer run. I do have some art coming for all of those. And these are going to do the exact same thing. They allow you to summon one of these companions, right? I've moved them all to rare. I just limited them at three so you don't go crazy summoning black cats. But uh, that that's where they stand right now. They've moved out of the, the legendary category into the rare category. Okay. So I know I just hit you with a lot. You just saw what's going on with the healing items. You saw what's going on with a bunch of the miscellaneous. You saw what's going on with the summoner items. Um, and the decor items. <laughs> and a bunch of the breeding items. Hit me with your questions. I know. Last, we still have to go through um, coffees, CEs, and you really taming. Have to go through the coffees. I do. Um, I mean, they do. Of course they do. That's why I paused before it so that we would kick it off. We're still going to go through coffees. We're going to go through the taming change that I talked about. Um, we'll talk about CEs. You're not going to find too much crazy going on there, quite honestly. And then we'll talk about the removers. And uh, I think, honestly, that... Oh, and the, uh, the the homemades. And then I think that's it. So there's not a lot left to go, but I just want to pause, give your brains time. We should go over the pigments, too. Oh, I'll go. That. You probably said that. No, okay. I don't think I told them there was alternate path for pigments. You mentioned it, but... All right, there's your winners. Okay, okay. So, first off, congratulations to Corvid, Furion, and Seer. You have won a platinum slot. And congratulations to Allie. You have won an aurorium slot. Woo. You get those into your banks at the end of the, the thingamajig. Exactly. Questions. I know. I keep, I just, I've assaulted you with information today. I really have. Okay. Will faction bonuses like what we, what we tease? Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> WTs have two plus one legendary crafts affect these new limits on crafts. Also, will legendary recipes still retain the general monthly limit, or will those limits be going away? So, in moving to this concept of limited, the entire concept of legendary is limited is gone. So, all legendary recipes will not be limited unless they have a limit, and limits are going to be per recipe. The, uh, it's WT, is it LK's got that? I'm pretty sure it's WT and LK, but let me double check. Yeah, I think it's WT and LK. I, d I definitely know it's WT. They could honestly use a little boost if it is those two. Yeah, their bonus to add plus one legendary craft will be plus one limited craft per it's month. It's LK and WT. It's LK and WT. Yeah, so, um, for them, Forge Gold Metal would be a four, uh, and the it, we are talking about it because that means that they'll also be allowed to we introduce the slots and now they'd be allowed to do four but i think that's the thing that we're just going to do so they're they break the limit by one limit breaker would affect all of these as well they would allow you to break the limit by one in that but i think we were talking about moving limit breaker to a, a charges system uh to do that and that way we can justify limit breaker breaking these limits on these things as much as we please. Uh, so yes, that that's exactly what's what's happening there. Um, if it doesn't have a limit when we do the release, then regardless of being legendary, it won't be a limited craft. Many legendary will still have them, but also some won't. Like, um, I'm trying to find one where I was like, I don't really care. I think it was Kim Concoction. Oh, like Chimera Concoction. I don't care. Craft to your heart's content. I don't need it to be limited. It was legendary and limited because everything else that was like it was up there. Sort of stuff. But it's, it's going to be per recipe. Um, and limits will be decided upon how... I don't want to say game-breaking because that's not really fair. But... I think, like... I just realized we missed them, but like the elixirs and ewas will still have their limits because they guarantee something. Exactly, things like guarantee are probably going to get limits. Chimera concoction doesn't guarantee anything, so I don't. I'm not going to limit it. Um, our bone flutes have a monthly limit, which should be reflected on this crafting limit at any moment. Probably should pull it over into the that that area as well. So yeah, we're going to put limits on things that like guarantee you something in a big way. Uh, we're gonna, how do I say this? I'm gonna follow my heart on some of it. And then when I'm done, um, I'll let my brain go through and tell my heart yes or no on these things. And we'll, we can talk about it for, from there. All of the limits are not on this sheet as of right now. They're just the ones that I thought about as we did this. I hope that answers that question. Does this mean Beaver will now apply to Legendary and not Limited? Yeah, legendary not limited would get beaver as well. This is an all or nothing switch. That's why we're we're talking it out so uh, your beaver could retain on a chimera concoction. Cool. Couldn't retain on say an evil stone. No, wouldn't retain on an evil stone because it's still limited. But basically, doublers and retainers, I don't think will work on limited, but they'll work on everything else. more questions to type. Nope. Oh. You announced the winners. Yeah, you did. Ooh, I did. Brain is... I announced the winners because I am awesome. So, so much crafting going on today. Uh-huh. It's almost like we're crafty. Did you... I know. I'm terrible. Woo. Um, bit scrambled mode. Will, will there be any changes to Limit Breaker with these updates or will it stay as it is? I think we're talking about moving it to a charge system like Counterfeiter. Y yes, as I... Set a minute back. <laughs> Sorry, guys. There's guy. a lot going on. There's a lot going on. Um, given how we're going to change things, we are talking about Limit Breaker moving to a charge system, much like Medic does. If we do that, then it will work like Medic, where you can have multiple Limit Breakers. I'm so sorry, guys. I am sick this week, so my voice is exceptionally quiet. I'm speaking up now. Hopefully that's better. All right. Anything else? Uh, I don't see anything else. So shall we get on to the 
Hot off the presses news. Yeah, hot off the presses news. Dunn came up with this idea. Because Tina made me pretty art. <laughs> slash gardening exist- gardening got concepted. <laughs> Both things. Their coffee is only in gardening for this reason. Tina made me a Starbu- Starbucks cup and then agreed to make another one. So why wouldn't I use them? So we have five, five recipes coming out, which are these right here. Starbucks latte, Dutch bro, Broco's mocha, Toko Horton's double, 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 Sk- oh, Skutokis, Skutokis, Skutokis cappuccino, and Dyer Dunks macchiato. We we did try to name these based on like the, the verbiage of these coffee places. I say not going to like three of them myself, but I do. But Dunn has been to them, um, and these are limit breakers. In a different sense. In a different sense. They may still all get a limit on them. Dunn is is fighting that some of these shouldn't get a limit on them. I think they should because I don't want you to retain. Um, Starbucks and Dyer Dunks need a limit because the departments they relate to need that limit. Exactly. Uh, so Starbucks is going to allow you to have plus one breeding a month. Normal breeding. You don't require passionate, but you do have to spend the coffee. So it'll be a consumable for plus one breeding a month. Breeding has agreed to it, but only one. So even if you get your hands on six of these, you can only use one a month. Okay? Um, And then Dyer Dunks Macchiato is plus one DC a month. You can get your hands on 30 of them. You still only get to use one a month. Plus one DC slot a month. I believe it can be either because they don't. They don't differentiate main versus local anymore. They don't. They don't differentiate that anymore. So yeah, that's what those are. Um, Dutch Brocos. Dutch Brocos is plus one Toko can participate in. Dutch Brocos is plus one Toko can participate in a in AOAs. Jury is out on if that will affect bonding or not because bonding already has bearded dragon. And then Toko Horton's double double is plus one. Toko can participate in a set of RODs or POTUS. Uh, Skatoki's was an activity bonus, but we're kind of discussing changing it because I don't think it is as powerful as the others because it would only affect one image. It was a single use popular. I don't think it's worth that cost for that. So that one's in the air, but we'll have a bonus. Before well, it launches. Exactly. So Skatoki's may not be in January, but as soon as we have a legitimate bonus for it, we will go forward. So that's what coffee is for. Um, I'm thinking these may get limited in general, but uh, even then, use them. Enjoy them. Have fun. Enjoy your coffee as much as me and Dun do. And if I can think of more bonuses, I will absolutely go do other chains like Caribou Coffee. Yeah, exactly. What would you call? Well, we need to wait till we have our car- Caribou Togo, wouldn't we? Well, oh, I thought you meant caribou main, but you mean the caribou build. Yeah, the caribou build that we are working on, which will have some sort of name. And then it'll be insert caribou toko name coffee, because that'll make the most amount of sense. That makes sense. Okay. So that's coffee. I'll break real quick and ask for <laughs> questions on coffee. You broke them with caribou. Did I? <laughs> I told them about it earlier. I just didn't say caribou at the time. <laughs> I guess it wasn't really necessarily just caribou. We had a lot of deer going on in there. Yeah, but I kind of pointed her towards more like caribou, antelope things. Okay. Don't see anybody typing in questions yet. Wait, oh. what is Dire Dunks? Dire Dunks is plus one DC slot a month. Yeah. Plus one DC. Okay. I think most of these... You know, I should have probably put the department on that note for you instead of the flavor that I was building. Yeah, that would be nice. So, uh, fun fact for everybody. N- unshockingly, because Dunn is... Uh, I can't say it. It's it's too much of our friendship and not enough... Uh, you can call me basic. It's okay. Yeah, sh- between the two of us, she's the, mo- the more basic one. <laughs> Very basic. So, unshockingly, Starbucks latte is pumpkin spice flavored and yes the recipe does reflect this um dutch bro dutch brocos mocha is mint chocolate i know uh double double is maple pecan cappuccino is elderberry 
and the macchiato's apple cinnamon. And yes, the recipes do reflect this. Would it have been useful to have the department on there? Yes, so useful. But I guess I'll just live with breeding as pumpkin spice. <laughs> it was the more important thing in the moment. <laughs> but not for the podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All righty. Let's talk about taming. All right, so for taming, uh, I told you that build groups were coming into play for taming. And here's basically what we're going to do. Right now, we don't we don't really use them. Most people just use treats and we go forward. But what we're going to do is uh, for the first category up there, these four. Give me a second. Let me highlight just the ones I'm talking. No, don't do that. Ah, all right. Fix it. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These are treats for placers. That's what they were they were previously for. The goal, I think, originally was to have lots more restrictions on tokos that were coming out. They would only take this treat and they only take that treat. To try and, like, generate more crafting, I think, was, like, the goal. I don't feel like we really reached that goal. It's an admirable one, but we're just going to say no thanks to it this far along and we're still not doing it. It's not fun per se so is is it green is tiny yes green is tiny purple is modest purple is modest okay making sure it's in the right order so we're going to go ahead and say that treats continue to work as treats do but chicken strips are going to work on tiny build groups uh berry bites are going to work on modest and fishy crackers are going to work on hefty and what this means is if you are taming a toko and you decide to craft the treats instead of using treats, then you would use the tiny modifier. You'd, you'd use chicken strips. That means you can use treats or chicken strips on a toki. Or the honey spice treat. Or the honey spice treats. You'll see how these 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 crazy things to craft, they, they're they going uncommon. They'll work on everybody. So you can do that. But, but, but. The alder is gone. Yeah, that's right, because it's still got a bag of spices, but the alder is gone. Bag of spice no longer needs it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, like, mix it up a little with treats, see if this plays well. Um, there will not be, like, restrictions anymore where you can only use X, but they'll just be a little more targeting if you decide to craft the treats yeah. instead. So a dire wild would take treats... Honey spice treats or fishy crackers. Exactly. A standard Dakota wild would take any of these. Yeah. The standard Dakotas eat anything, and that remains true. Our trash panda build for now. For now. And then moving on to homemade biscuits, which are the other treat type, uh, exact same way. So you can make the homemade biscuits and you can use them on anyone. If you're dealing with the tiny builds, these three work. If you're dealing with the modest builds these three work and we've added a new one in there called antler chew so that everyone has three that they can work with and then hefty builds come along into these we're giving this a try these don't currently they don't mean anything in our system they really honestly don't we would have just that's why we stole so many to make healing items yeah we already stole half of these to make healing items this is what was left uh, and they just don't really mean anything in our current system. This maybe gives them a little more flavor, gives them a little more fun. If it doesn't work, then we'll change it. It's on my bullet list to watch, but uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work, I don't know where we're going next on it, but we will go somewhere. These changes only affect um, taming. They will not affect outpost. Outpost is still equal opportunity on these. Oh, yes. TCA, uh, Rehome, and Outpost are still equal opportunity. These only affect taming. All right. So that's what's uh, what's what's happening there. Uh, and then this next section is all the CE items. So these mostly had recipe rebalances to uh, bring them in line. Some of them just had, like, really expensive recipes. Some of them didn't have very expensive recipes. But none of their bonuses are changing for meat jerky through tasty toko yummies. And including the ones that go up 
the, the list as well. In fact, most of the recipes actually just came down in points. That's what happened. We just cut a couple things here and there and just brought them in line so that none was more expensive. I think all of them are within like two points of each other. I may still switch some of those berry composts out for something like the fruits. Or yeah, something. we take might. another look at that. We might take another look at those and switch those out. Uh, but that's mostly what happened on here. Um, when you scroll along the recipe, you'll see that all of these now require a cooking pot. Um, and then when you move up to the next level, there's like one more thing added to it. And it requires a cooking pot. And then when you move up to the top level, we pulled in some gardening ingredients. And you need the iron pot. And that's what's going on with those. Um, the recipes have changed but even pulling in the iron pot, a lot of these, I think their recipes technically went down a little bit because we pulled out some of the more fatigued items. And just brought them all in line because they all do the same thing, just for a different competition type. And then finally, I talked about these with everyone in chat and we talked about reducers. Uh, reducers being a breeding consumable that allows you to reduce the chance of marking will pass. And I said, hey, hit me with what you want to be able to reduce. This is what I got back. We want to be able to reduce these things. So saturation shake is continuing. To, did we move it down from rare? I think we moved all these down. Yeah, these all got moved down from rare. We decided they weren't rare. They were uncommon. And then we updated their recipes accordingly. We threw lots of gardening items into these as well. Um, as of right now, they're not used a ton. Like sometimes we see saturation shake, but we don't see the others very often. We see them, but not often. Um, so we went ahead and went a little heavy on the gardening stuff in here and lots of different gardening things generate these lots of different types of recipes, tons of uncommons. We are adding, um, okay. So makeup remover is being renamed as marked makeup. Um, we're adding seal sealant, piebald purger, fair mark blender, mosque mask, lilac liquefier, rose razor, Saddle separator, blanket be gone, move it merle, thylacine won't be seen. At twont. Twont be seen. <laughs> Quagga quasher, rainmark remover, and then we have the recipes for them. The art is still pouring in. All of these use this particular tool. That's why it's got such high usage. And then the makeup kit, you're like, where's the makeup kit? That's the openable that can get you any one of these, and it'll be used in things like questing or adventure anywhere that we we want to do those so those are that'll just be openable that can have any one of these in here and so you have a little more options on reducing some of the more common markings no they don't increase your chance they reduce your chance are we going to do increasers i don't think so well that was slated for a certain other thing yeah that's for something else and finally um Okay, so I did say that we were coming for things like Acne's Amulet and Dominance Talisman. We did. We drastically changed the recipes. Uh, and we also changed Trading Post Coupon as well. So these guys got some big updates. Uh, <laughs> Dominance Talisman was one of the most exploitable recipes in the system. So we've just decreased its exploitability. It doesn't... It got crafted a ton but it didn't get used. It never got used. So now if you craft it, you're probably going to be using it. Okay, so that's where those fell. Um, and we did some updates again to the brawl stuff. So the brawl stuff's coming across. Took away it as rare, not legendary. Yeah, and took not away. Limited. Mm hmm. We dropped that. I don't think it's going to get limited. So it's we dropped. It's limited by how many brawls you can do. <laughs> exactly. And then we moved a bunch of uh, grains, succulents, fruits, vegetables, categories in there. So though these mean they can use any vegetables, any fruits, any grains that you pull out of gardening. They don't have to have like a specific one. Um, fate potion moved down the ranks, I think. Got rid of edible mushrooms for just any mushrooms. Yep. You're going on a trip regardless. And uh, I think, did we add glass jar? Or has that been there for a while? I think I added glass jar. And glass jar got added, but it moved down to uncommon to befit its rarity more realistically. Uh, puppy chow, I think, 
we did not change it actually no we didn't change it we may have added a cooking pot but that was about it and then crunchy kibble and sauteed steak they've been added in um, all of these have gotten some of them have groups some of them have specific ones and these are the different puppy chow equivalents you would use depending on your build group uh, so puppy chow is going to tiny uh, crunchy kibble is going to moderate and sauteed steak is going to hefty yep okay thank you for keeping those in order for me i appreciate that i don't actually think focus least changed i think it just moved up and then finally what we have decided to do is we have homemade fertility supplements we updated their recipe i think to be a little more generic um oh i'm gonna sneeze <laughs> Bless you. sorry everyone just didn't want to sneeze in the microphone so we updated that one, and then we went ahead and uh, created a homemade variant for all of these, which means homemade fertility supplements is going to need a um, glow, up. glow up. And I think fertility root's going to get a glow up at the same time. So those are on my item list. And uh, these guys, they're all very simple, and I think we kept them to activity items. The reason being that these feel very early game to us. Like, if you're going to need to craft them, Rather than just spend TT, it's going to be an early game. So we wanted to keep it all in activity items, low, easy to find things, leaves, berries, fish, not complicated. And uh, there would be, and these are going to remain free. They're not moving up. They are styled after the uh, fertility sup is styled after a common and the others are styled after an uncommon uh, to match the price disparity that you would find in the trading post. And then a homemade fertility root, which is for the uh, starter breeds. Starter breedings. Thank you. It's going full on gardening slash activity items. It's a little harder because starter breedings are more of a mid game thing for everybody. Yeah, th this is this is Daff and Flickaby. You're welcome, the breeding managers, because I have a sense of humor. And uh, oh, and the last thing I think you need to know is I decided that map can go down to nine pieces instead of ten because nine pieces makes a square or a rectangle and ten does not. Yes, I know. It was so much. Your your brain is probably bleeding out your ears at this point. Hit me with questions. You have one more thing. What, what, what more? Pigments. Just show them. Oh, right. Uh, so you guys know what pigments are. As they exist currently. Where am I crazy? Scroll up. Scroll up. Okay. You're looking for the chunk of red because duplicate. Okay. So pigments, um, they do exist as they currently do. But what we've done is we've added an alternate of each of them. So you have your activity version of pigments. And then you have your gardening version of pigments. Okay. So be able to craft those out of either system that you deal with. And everything's got a gardening and an activity version. Hit me with the questions. I know. I know. There is so much here. And I understand that I'm probably not going to get like real feedback for like the next 48 hours as your brain sits and spins. You re-listen to this. You look at this sheet. And then you come back and go, okay, now I have questions. All right. Is gardening apple different from shiny red apple, the injury prevention? Y yes. Yes. Shiny red apple is on my wish list of recipes someday. But for now, they are different. Yeah. Or they, they are different. And maybe one day you can make your own shiny red apples. Yeah, maybe. Do some sugar and make a glaze on it. No, you would use wax like a grocery store does. But then you can't eat it. Yeah. That's why you wash apples before you eat them. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm, I'm just saying the entire goal of the item is to eat it. We shouldn't use wax on it. <laughs> Ouch. Whew. Whew. Okay. Um, uh, anyone type in? No, yeah. I think you may have just completely exploded I everybody's brains. Exploded their brains. That's fair. Let's end on a good note. So, stats wise, here's what we're actually looking at these days. Um, there's only 26 legendaries now, uh, which is down from. 32 i think or... to open the other sheet. i don't really care it's down um rares are actually up a little bit 
Um, so are uncommons and commons. A lot of stuff slid down the scale to make it more accessible, easier to get to. And when I say that, I do mean like the recipes. It's easier to get a common recipe than it is a legendary recipe. End of story. Um, I have so many copy of copy of. I know. And then as far as our ranges go, you'll see a lot more stuff is falling inside of those ranges that we set. In fact, all of the, the rare recipes are. Um, given what's going on with the activity ones that I showed you and some of the other things, others are at 90. But honestly, our stats look really good for finding more consistency among recipes and tiers. I'm going to do one more teeny tiny raffle. And this is teeny tiny. This is going to be one winner. Tell me the thing you are most excited about with the crafting rebalance or least excited about, but try not to be a dick about it. Okay. And you have until I get through the last thing that I have to talk about, which is sell back on all crafting is changing not might change is changing it's happening i didn't bring attention to them as we went through our first run but i'm sure some of our more eagle-eyed eagle-eyed people spotted them so right here you'll see that we have a true value column and the current sale column and the true value is the actual TT value of the things that you put in here. It's, did I just double click here? I think this is the one I want. Why would you double click? Oh, for the ROI, yes. Yes, okay. Am I, am I crazy? Why are you not working? Well, let me try and do it. There we go. Thank you. So, <clears throat> and you saw previously the ROIs and the T10 ROIs. But you didn't see these. This doesn't have the color scale working very well right now. Oh, please don't worry about the red. The color scale. We didn't care about the color scale when we moved it over because we had the old sheet with the preserved previous recipes and how they looked. So um, we didn't worry too much about it. This is more about the new base and the new sale. Now, these numbers are not set in stone in any capacity um, right now. But we are looking at doing a new base sale and a new... Uh, there'll be a new base T10 as well. It's not on here, but there would be like a new T10 um, as well. And the way that this is going to work is this is not necessarily like the number that you would be looking at. When we go over to settings, uh, sell back modifier, here's what we'd actually be looking at. So this is going to take the true value and it's going to apply a modifier to it. So for free recipes, your modifier is actually only like 0.6 of the true value, which is 60%. Common would be 80%. Uncommon, you'd come up at a 1. Rare and legendary, you go up two steps. This this is definitely... The, the scale is happening, but not necessarily these numbers on this scale. We are only just getting to the point of, okay, here's, here's what affected... Here's what the values actually look like now. So let's go ahead and do this. We still have to go assign all the sellback values to all the new gardening and new items for that to properly calculate so we can start looking at it. You'll see a ton of these don't have an actual like proper value Means on them. Doesn't have a sellback yet. Exactly. Um, doesn't have a sellback. A ton of things are coming across as they don't have one because we don't, we don't have anything for them yet. So we can't get proper true values till we finish doing the sellbacks on gardening items. Um, so all of that's still in play, which is why I can't say that the number you're looking at here is definitely the number. It's probably not the number. But we know what the true values are. We know what the new base values are um, for base sale, we think. And then when we are going to sell them back, these numbers are... I don't think we're going to use like a really hard and fast formula of like, well, this is the value, so this is what it must sell back as because it's exactly 80%. We're probably going to nudge things up and down a little bit, depending on... Um, to the nearest 50s, because those are easy to calculate. Yeah, because we want you to be able to easily calculate your sellbacks. And the 50s and 100s are the easier way to do that. So we're probably going to nudge things some up, some down. If, again, this will be a little bit of 
Jill will follow her heart to where she thinks it should be. Because the goal is not to screw you out of TT. But we definitely need to address more of the exploitable things and just have more like realistic sellbacks. Because originally we just did it. Oh, well, everything in the uncommon has like a sellback between this number and this number. No, it's just this number. It was just this number. And that was a mess. That was a big mess because as we showed you with the point values, there were certain uncommon recipes where it was like three points worth of stuff and you're getting 10 KTT back for it. We created yeah, we created that problem. We 100% created that problem. This is how we're looking to resolve it. So new sellbacks are definitely coming. These are not the correct numbers, um, but this is what we're using to start trying inf to inform those sellback values. Um, and... You know, if, if it's something of like, hey, Jill, can you add whatever the sellback of this item is onto the page while I'm crafting? I would appreciate that so I don't have to keep looking around. Yeah, I can probably do that. The answer is probably. And I'll, I'll see what I can do from you for, for there to give you that information um, per se. But uh, the rarity will probably affect it. And the quantity made will definitely affect it. So we did keep some of that in consideration. I'm trying to find something that's got a quantity. Uh, The sold coolies. Okay, so for here, um, is this accounting for it the way I think it was supposed to be accounting for it? it should be. So the new there it is. Yes, yeah. and the new sale is the sell of the entirety amount you made. Exactly. So you can see it really well here. Each of these would actually be worth four twenty. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, and then when you do all three of them together, that would be the full new sale value because not everyone's going to sell all of them. Uh, and some things will retain. There's no sale back. Like soul pool water has no sale back and that's, that's on purpose. Uh, I don't think soul mirror has a sell back either. It does not. Mm -hmm. Does elemental heart have a soul sell back? No. Who would sell it back? I think we specifically made sure it had no sell back. So you couldn't accidentally churn it through the TT calc. I think that was that was on purpose. Yeah. If it has one, let me know. I need to remove it because we want you to trade that into the system. We want it you. It does to... not. Good. Good. But Stone of IPAC does. Oh. Why? I you know I've seen someone sell us uh, like to the trading post before, and I've just been like, ugh, why? I would have bought that for you for actual money. You just want me to kill that. Uh, we should update. We should announce before we kill that. Yeah, we should announce it before we kill it. Although I would be really shocked. So these changes are coming. Um, the crafting system is an intense little piece of seven or eight thousand lines of code called the the Mini Khajiit system, and it cannot slash will not be running two sets of crafting to have an overlapping grace period. When we did it with the breeding roller, it was fine because the breeding roller, we, we did just copy paste it, it was out in general things. But remember the breeding roller is not touching inventories in any capacity. This will be touching inventories. It's much more integrated into our system than like the breeding roller is. So we're not gonna be running two craftings at a go. I gave a little warning uh, either yesterday or the day before. This is your notice of your grace period. It, l I will give you seven days for sure. Like I will not shut down the crafting system before next Saturday for sure. But anytime after next Saturday, the crafting system will go offline as I start making the code changes we need to make to facilitate this. The limited stuff the quick buys, the more viewable data. Um, I've been asked for a couple other like updates. I need to fix a couple bugs. Um, so I will be taking it offline because I will need a couple work weeks to work on it, which means you won't be able to craft. So if you're intending to craft something via the old recipe, do it now. Don't wait for December 31st because the system will be offline until I bring it online from Mini Khajiit 2.0, 
for the new crafting system that has all the gardening stuff in it, that has all the limiting stuff in it, that has all the changes to Limit Breaker and stuff that we'll be talking about. Um, I think then, I think this may be more of an in chat. I don't know if we need a whole podcast to talk about limits. I don't think we need a whole one. We, we may have one more podcast this month, but it'll be for more than just crafting another two hours of crafting. I yeah, swear. <laughs> I know. I, I think this is the last Craft Mageddon podcast. I think we got it in two. Um, we, we may have one more podcast this month, but it'll be all of the things going on with an update about crafting and an update about limits and how we think those are going to change. But if you've got it, craft it. If you don't want to wait on the new recipe, totems is the exception. Do not craft totems. <laughs> don't craft totems wait for the update i guarantee you you'll be better off next year crafting a totem um this sheet that you guys are looking at is for your guys's eyes and it will be going into the feedback thread at the top sticky post Mm -hmm. after this i may strip some of these formulas out so it's it is very laggy it's extremely especially mobile yeah so i might convert it all to values for accessibility Yeah, so we'll switch it all to values, and then you can go in and you can look at it. Um, Obviously, new base and new sale, you can't trust them because a bunch of stuff doesn't have sellback values, so it's not calculated in there. Uh, So don't trust them, but it is coming, and I didn't want you all to be surprised. I can delete the columns if you want, but I figure... Better that you see that it is being discussed. Exactly. I want you to be where it's happening. So if you've got it, craft it, accept totems, within the next week sellbacks won't change until january i don't think there can be a grace period beyond that because it kind of defeats the whole point of stopping some super exploitable stuff so if you've got those dominance talismans might as well sell them they definitely aren't going to be worth it come january if you're crafting it you're probably crafting it to need it not just to churn millions of tt we do have questions. Do you want me to close oh, yes. the raffle? Close the raffle and then give me those questions. Okay. I'm going to read you one question and then I have to go count the podcast thingy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Has IPAC's tack changed at all? I know it's pretty rarely crafted used because it's super late game, but you have plenty to go talk about, so go do that while I count. Um, I know the answer to that question. I am shocked that I didn't say anything to that. Where is it? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I think I had the answer to that question last week, but there was so much going on, and you're all... I mean... We missed other stuff that we meant to talk about last week, too. Yeah, well, everyone's brain. I, I cared about everyone's brain. Where are you at? There you guys are. <laughs> okay. Who? So, yes, it is. We are thinking of changing out the Stone of IPAC for Aurorium on all of these. They would remain legendary. I think we are going to not limit them. I'm a, I'm a little back and forth. They are sitting in the... Aurorium has its own limits. Aurorium does have its own limits. Um, but remember that when it's not limited, the retainers and doublers can work on it. True. So that that's the conversation that we need to have. I, I don't actually think I'm going to limit you guys. I'm These candles, I really don't think I will. Um, but the legendary tack might be. So it's looking at switching to uh, uh, Aurorium instead of that and to Gilded Thread instead of what is probably the stupid amount of thread that it needs right now and Pigments. So yes, these we're looking to change. Maybe like a tool will be added to these at most, but again, all tools are purchasable in the crafting or in the, the TP store. So uh, yeah, I am looking at changing those. Uh, I don't think I got much feedback about them one way or another, if I'm honest, but this this is kind of the the vibe that we're going for and it's going to follow that idea of you're crafting up other things that already exist okay um i hope that answers that question for you and there's con conversations about other tech becoming craftable and legendary for different gods but i don't have any more details than that right now Dunn's giving me a look. I had your raffle winner, but you had just slipped that in there, didn't you? I did. I did. Uh, Okay. um, What was your prize that you declared on this one? Did I? 
Did I actually declare the prize, guys? Or was it only in my head? I want to make sure I didn't declare it before I... Uh, did you say a bandos? I didn't say a bandos. You said it was small. You did not. Okay, you did Okay, not. good. Good. I was like, I feel like they would have been... No one would tell me... If, it, if I said what was in my head, no one would tell me otherwise. <clears throat> we're we're going to go ahead and uh, roll... Is Cray here? Yeah, whatever. She can't stop me. She can't get on this what podcast. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a uh, iridescent Gino that cannot be turned in until January. Yeah, I told you I'm in that mood. I, I said I said Gino. Oh, okay. Just go roll a mystery and throw iridescent on it. We'll call it good. You're insane. I am insane. Now, who's winning this thing? Mizzy. Oh, Mizzy, congratulations. You are getting an iridescent mutation Gino. You obviously cannot turn it in until iridescent is available in... Do they even know the name of that mutation? Well, you do now. Um, in, yeah, I think you spoiled it. In January, obviously. Congratulations. Iridescent. I said it was going to be wild. I warned them. When they showed up at 1.30 my time, like three hours ago, that it was going to be wild today. Because I had a bad week, and when I have a bad week, this is what I do. You're, just, you're so extra. I am extra today. Obviously, you can't get a jump on this because the design guide's not out. <laughs> yeah, you can't get a jump on it. The design guide's not out. But, but, you will have a Gino. Congratulations. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Crane. Korean staff with one P or probably like I'm gonna murder that person. <laughs> but it's too late now. I've done it. Oh crazy here. Crazy here making frowny faces at you and Twitch. Oh, is she? Except then when oh that's fine, I guess. Cray, back me up. <laughs> See? Cray's up for shenanigans. <sighs> okay. Now what was the next question? You are a mess. <laughs> I'm a menace, not a mess. Uh, world's most specific question. If we craft stuff this month for quests, will we be able to count it under old tiers, thinking of the painted dog chain particularly? That's an easy cutoff. Anything crafted before 2024 can still count. Yeah, We still yeah. have all that information. We didn't lose it. We still have all of your crafting um, logs, and that, I believe, is what else SDA looks at. So that that's an easy limit. Thank you for bringing it up. We'll make a note. Anything crafted before January 1st, 2024 will count by its old for that chain. Yep. Uh, regarding crafting totems, mm -hmm. I don't suppose there's any plans for partial compensation for those who've crafted them already with the old recipes already it, SOL. No, guys. Come on. These were, these recipes have been out for years at this point. Like, come on. <laughs> I can't go and refund everybody a bunch of totem fragments from enough totem fragments that someone else could craft a totem but that's that's a little crazy well we'll see what we're doing don't make that face at i'm me. gonna make that face at you i refund and re uh and what's the word i'm looking for and I reimburse reimburse where it is possible and appropriate and it's not fair to call it SOL. You got the benefits of those totems. Not that any of us use these totems, except for I think you had bat on, even though you don't use it, just for the aesthetics. Yeah, for the aesthetics. <laughs> when the crafting chain, when crafting changes, will we also get a chance to get the new needed items via trading post etc? So many of the recipes seem to need new items. It just doesn't sound ideal for new system. If we have a new system but unable to craft anything, sorry, this is mentioned already. Thanks for somebody who joined us late. So as a reminder for everybody, the greenhouse store will be opening. And the greenhouse store will have the produce boxes that you can purchase for TT. So that people can start getting a stock hole, stock pile of cr gardening ingredients. Until gardening itself is live. And even then after it's staying probably. I, th I think it's staying i think we've we've both been on the vibe that it's going to stay it just won't be daily refresh it'll be more like weekly refresh okay anyone else ty oh, typing typing uh, typing typing i can see the typing which means i have to fill the air with the sound of my voice do not spoil anything else i don't know what even else you could spoil at this point i dude i don't know what else i could spoil at this point like seriously um, 
I, I don't think I, um, no, I think I'm just gonna, I can leave them with this, these wonderful, wonderful items. I'm, I'm, I'm literally trying to think if there's anything else I could spoil right now. Where can we find the spark notes for this, the minutes for this meeting? I missed it cleaning my house. Some, some players will do meeting notes, but the admins don't because, well, we're obviously running this and we'd be the ones making the notes. Exactly. And, uh, but this, this particular podcast will be on YouTube probably today or tomorrow. So you can re-listen to it, but also we do keep our video on demand running. So this podcast will also be on Twitch for at least a week. By the way, we're still more all to madness on Twitch. Yeah, I'll get to it at some point. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Last time we were, we were coming in a dead run. This time we were coming in a dead trudge. Um, and it slipped my mind again to fix it. We'll go fix it but if, if you go um, the video from today, there should only be one because we didn't need to do restart oh. due to any stupidity. Um, <laughs> you should be able to listen to the whole video and it will be available as of like now. So hopefully that'll be good for you to listen. Um, and uh, sometimes people do like jump points for us. And when they do, we reward them. But uh, I'm not uh words for admin made meeting notes slash minutes they would just be in the news post that we would put out so news Ex post exactly but for like the video jump points sometimes people do them and then we put them up on youtube with that we appreciate when they do and usually i think we give them like treasure box and stuff a treasure box or something like that for doing it and it's like the first one who does it sort of thing um but the video will also be on youtube very shortly and i'm hopefully Hopefully, the person who's putting them up is fixing the names and not putting them up as Merle Tomatis. <laughs> you mean as Lua, who saves us to list our video on demand constantly? I, I didn't want to put her on the spot, but yeah, I'm really hoping that she's put Craft Mageddon Part 1 and Part 2, not a, not Merle to Madness. Oh, Jill. Ooh. I noticed it like an hour ago, and I was like, I can't say anything right now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, no, that's fair. That's fair. Um. All right. Got another I, one for you. Yeah, ask a dangerous question, get a wild answer. That's that's very true. Yeah. All right, what else? Oh, you said another one? Another question. All Is right. thread still going to be available in Tokotai? Did you can answer right now. Unsure. Unsure? My gut says probably, but the answer is unsure. It's in there for thematic reasoning, but maybe we need to change it because it's been a problem in the past. Yeah. Maybe Eva, we'll do yarn. Maybe we'll do yarn. Obviously, Toko Times doesn't start until February. So, in my to-do list, Craft Mageddon needs to be done. And I need to know where everything is standing as far as the fallout of how much thread we need, how much is over here, what these recipes are, their finalized form look like. And then I can tackle Toko Times. And I'm always very wary of making promises that I can't keep. My gut says we should be able to keep thread. But... My honesty also says I have to say maybe because I may have to switch it out for maybe one of the more gardening accessible ones instead. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Because I'm not trying to not answer the question. I'm just telling you I can't answer the question. Is Lua updates our video on demand because she's got her stuff together far more than we do? Yeah, 100% is Lua does it. All right. All right. I don't see any more questions. I think we are good. Whew, two and a half hours. Dunn says to me yesterday, we're not going to have enough for a podcast. And I went, B.S. I guarantee you this will be at least two hours. She's lucky we didn't make a bet. In my defense. I never think we have enough for a podcast. You never think we have enough for a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Hey, everyone. I know. I I think I've sounded like dead tired this entire podcast. I appreciate you all putting up with that and uh, joining us here today as we tackle, this, tackle the second half of Craft Mageddon. Obviously, I do think there will be one more podcast in December, but it hopefully will not be two hours of crafting focus. We can all go back to Maybe. more one of the other 20 bullet points I had for December. Maybe one of the 20 bullet points. And maybe maybe I'm going to host some, I don't know, games or something on a podcast. And we're going to have interactive 
festive fun because, damn it, we deserve it. It's been a long year. We still owe a reading for the last stories from the anthology. I know. I know. I'm off next week, at least some of it. So maybe we'll get, we'll get caught up then. Are you, you guys can't see my expression, but Dunn could. No, no, no. I'm not reading, but I'll babysit your team so you read. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so she'll help me. She'll help me be delinquent. But you know, that's fair. I'm pretty sure it's just me and a rune next week and everybody else is gone. And as long as the lights are on, then things are fine. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe you can babysit my teens and I'll do some readings. There we go. We'll get some midday readings for all of our uh, CU yes. people. We try. We do try. All right. So, again, lots of love from Jill and Dunn. Thank you for joining us for Craftmageddon Part 2. Give me your feedback. I do need the good, the bad, and the ugly. Just don't be a dick about it so that we can have a conversation. And we'll have this spreadsheet in the feedback thread shortly. I just need to get all the raffle prizes handed out and then go put that up there. Exactly. And then, of course... Um, you don't usually see me for like 30 minutes after the podcast because I need to go and like be human for 30 minutes. Um, and then after that, I'll be around in chat for questions and other things of that nature. I know this is a big math heavy change and it's not as exciting as like the main rebalance, but it needs to get done. So I'll be around in about 30 minutes. You can come and talk to me. You're always welcome to come and talk to me. You're just going to get a really long answer. All right. Thanks all. Bye.